time, every time. All right, we are going live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of No Jumper News. The real one this time because I accidentally just did this on OG Suicide's channel by mistake. Let it out, love one. We had a nice little fake start, but we are back. It is Thursday, April 27th, and I have with me Big Court in the building. <laughs> the East Coast Suscurb himself. You know it. Icon, rocking the OG Suicide, Let It Out, Love One merch, available at nojumper.com. We got Dre the Truth joining us today. Yes, sir. Can't and a very... All white. You know what I'm saying? You got the black, we got to do it. Matt Heavenly in this shit. And a like very, that. very special guest with us, popping up in the back, the one and only, Sharp. The sharpest. <laughs> bestest. You know what I noticed? Everybody try to do it, but they just don't got the same riff like me. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's you did? It's I like, like it, though. We're yeah. not in the Sharp Tank, fool. Those would have said it perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wish I could talk like Sharp, because Sharp talk like he's inhaling instead of exhaling. Facts. Yeah. He's like, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it takes some wind to get that shit out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. That shit is hard. It takes a little bit of wind, man. That voice with a little kiss. Say, mama, sound like that man again. We ain't having tilapia tonight. We have a red snapper. Yeah. Yellow tail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Look here. Some grouper. Damn, I can't wait to get on some grouper. I gotta be saying some shit, man. Man, That shit is good, though. Man, man, just keep living. Yeah, Yeah, that's all I gotta do. I just gotta get old. It's a blessing, man. That shit is good. I don't know if you guys could see Sharp shirt good, but it it feels how it looks, baby. Real fine, real fine. Pause. Pause. Get the brother, man. You know, he said it looked like some Egyptian. I said, yeah, I got it from the west side of Egypt. Yeah, I was on like the west, the west district, man, right. that corner. You know what I'm saying? Real ghetto over there. Real yeah. ghetto people. Yeah. You know? I, I think this five thousand thread count. <laughs> but, I felt, but I felt at home when I was there, so I guess it don't matter, right? You're right. You know, yeah, that's no. tight. That fool said five thousand thread shit, count. Real <laughs> <laughs> player shit around here. That shit was amazing. You know. We on, let's get Sharp, what, what's what, what's the occasion if you used to be joining us on the news today, sir? Shit's amazing. It's working, man. It's starting to work. <laughs> you know, it only works like if you're really working. I don't feel like I um, don't feel like I get to be here enough, but I think it's on me though. So I'm gonna start being here more. I'm gonna start being here more. It's crazy. He smells the blood it's, it's in the water. Me. Like I said, that was the shark on me. is out. Like, I just feel like right now, man. Shit, we everybody need to be in this motherfucker right now. So facts. That's where we at. Real front lining. <laughs> yeah, the fuck up. I fucking feel you. Yeah. That's right. Let's, join, huh? Let's get yeah. into the first topic or what? It's the lights, probably. Oh, it's Offset appears to be upset after Jay Prince posted a photo with Quality Control CEO Pierre P. Thomas on Wednesday. Jay Prince uploaded a photo to Instagram that shows him uh, posting with Larry, Ho- uh, Larry Hoover's associate, Johnny Crusher Jackson, and QC's Pierre Thomas. Prince captioned the photo, congratulations to both of the homies that are making the big moves where they're from, Chicago and Atlanta. Keep doing what you're doing, real, recognize, real. Then again, we're going to get straight into it. Wax said that shit's cap. <laughs> That's an old photo. Uh, you know you why think? I believe that? That it's, it's old or that it's current? That it's old. Yeah. It's because people do that type of shit all the time, man. They don't pull pictures out the woodwork until it's time to pull them out. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Until it's like relevant. That picture right. probably got posted a long time ago. Nobody ever said nothing, but because there's some type it's of rift relevant. today, yep. it's relevant today. It's like somebody passing away and you go to the first picture you got if you want to post something. You know what I'm saying? Do you yeah. guys yeah. very yeah. true? Do you guys think that well, the only uh picture you got? Right. That's do you guys right. think that P would even take a picture with uh with Jay Prince at this moment? Hey man, I think that 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 with us without us knowing the behind the scenes, maybe. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what their relationship is. You know what I'm saying? Facts. You know, we don't know who's what and who did what, you know what I'm saying? And what the behind the scene calls is like. Because you know? even though everybody's business, man, I bet you they still moving behind street moral. I bet you. So, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers gonna have to I think that's a like run into each other. Right. And make it cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, you run into a mother you ain't seen in 20 right. years. It's always been beef. Y'all run into each other at the club. Now y'all yeah. hugging yeah. and shaking hands. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes right. it take that, homie. Yeah. The internet, like, and I, the internet's cool. Like, I love the internet, but the internet doesn't necessarily bring people together. Didn't someone just walk into this room and slap hands with you and you said something about him recently? Huh? Court? You so much. Well, I guess. No. I'm just tripping. I Talk guess. about it. Who did that? Who just came in the room right now? <laughs> oh, Troy Ave just came in the room. Yeah, Troy Ave in the building. He is. That was tight. 
<laughs> y'all ain't off the chain, y'all out the cage up That's here, man. That's motherfucker, dog. You niggas out the cage up here, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck off the chain, out the cage. Hey, man, it just look like to me, Troy Ave came up here to play basketball, so, you know. No jumper. Now, 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 what did Offset say? He said what? Offset said he hates them with all his heart. Oh, all three of them? Yeah. Oh, damn, things is bad, huh? Damn. I guess because it's a life loss in a situation. You of course, of course. I, yeah. I know that tattoo on his back was fire. Yeah, I, you know I, I, I agree. Hey, that's a badass portrait. That was dope. That's you know, shit hard it, to me. To me, man, to, to be real with you, that without me knowing all the facts and everything else, the controversy of somebody losing their life, I think a lot of us become uh, desensitized to a lot of shit because we used to we used to death. A lot of mm -hmm. us, we didn't came up from New York to L.A. everywhere. People dying. It's like, all right, such and such died. Damn, that's fucked up. Then. We about to go eat some food, you know, some, some sushi. You know what I'm saying? Like, or, or even back in the day when somebody would die at a liquor store in different areas I would come into, people wouldn't kick it at that liquor store. Our liquor store, we, yeah, we did it and we hanging out. You know what I mean? So I think with that being said, I think that a lot of people have moved on that doesn't feel genuine, I'm sure, to if I was in a people closer take -off, to the situation, you know, take off yeah. situation, I'd be like, yo, everybody moving on and doing this and I lost my cousin. I lost, you know what I mean? That that's a that's a that's a long term thing for them. It's not just an artist or people could tell you like this person's like my brother, like my son, but when they die, who's doing what for the family and for everybody else? Words, Facts. a mouth will say anything, as my mother would say. You know what I mean? That's what they mouth say. But what do the actions say? You know what I mean? So to me, you know, he got, you know, he's emotional and he got the right to be. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know if, who it is to hate and who point the finger at who, but you know what I'm saying? Shit looks when serious. You, when you lose somebody <laughs> that you genuinely love, yeah. and you see some people that, you know, you feel like the relationship's been fake, you gonna air that shit, because you heard it that time, you mad. You looking yeah. to take it out, man. You don't want nobody that's that's fake around you at yeah. that point. But I feel like people should stand on that shit regardless. Yeah. Don't wait for a motherfucker to die to be like, hey man, I ain't fucking with these niggas. Yeah. You been fake all along. And nigga, I ain't tell giving that you nigga. no flowers. You don't deserve yeah, and I ain't it. giving you no flowers. Nigga, yes. say that shit. Don't yeah. wait for your people to die or something like that to happen to be like, you know what? I ain't fucking with nobody no more. All the people that's been fake to me, fuck them. Nigga, should have been that. They had beef before that too. Didn't QC and yeah. uh and uh and take off. So I, I mean, not take off. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, offset. Offset. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't they have like issues? Uh, disagreement or something. Yeah. So then and so then he's reverting uh, referring to Jay Prince to say I hate you because because take off was killed. Another thing is he ain't saying no and names. So he subbed. So like you really don't know if it's the nigga who got his burrito order wrong or right. just. <laughs> You know, in response right. to that picture. Right. Timing is crazy, though. Oh, real talk. People Timing fail to realize, crazy. bro. You yeah. And I don't know what people think out here in the real world. This ain't fantasy. You can't control niggas. Yeah. Facts. You can't control people, homie. And when you're out by the masses, everybody yeah. kicking it. Motherfuckers out doing shit. You, you, can't, you can't expect everybody to be on the time that you own. Yeah. So that's why you got to be very mindful of your surroundings, homie. I mean, I know that might sound, you know, very basic, but... I think people should go back to the basics on that because there'd be less problems like this. We wouldn't have this type of shit, homie. Especially when you move. You have to think about it, man. Amigos, all of them, these dudes are superstars. Yeah. Superstars. And I get it. You want to be outside. You want to still be able to do normal shit. Hell, I do too. But sometimes, hey, homie, once, once you step over that threshold... You got to change That's up it. the way that you move yeah. and bro. I'm yeah. sorry. You cannot have both worlds. Yeah. I don't know why people think that that shit's possible. Yeah. It's not. It ain't. Because they're going to, because at one point in time, that shit's going to collide and it's going to be a wreck that don't nobody want to see. Well, and you learn the hard way because on some street shit, if you are an individual from LA or New York, wherever you from, wherever, and you from a community or a troop or a hood or a gang, whatever you from, and you get to moving doing other positive things, you can't still teeter Think and it's be still back fucking on the block. You're going to get shot mm -hmm. at, you're going to have to shoot, or something going to happen. You got to move away from it, but that'll take the average individual to say, I'm losing my grasp on who I am. Really, mm. you're not. You're gaining more who you are and whoever mm. you were. You got to move on from that. And I talk from experience on that shit, because if you become somebody, like when Pac said, went from a nobody nigga to the big man on the block, and you become <laughs> that, you got to know when your time is, when you just seen 20, 30 different homies die, 40, 50 homies get football numbers in prison. What's your statistics? I have my mother tell me, nigga, you fell between a lot of cracks. So with that being said, <laughs> you gotta be awake and understand, hey, it's time to do something different. I don't you know see I mean? and still be you. I don't see too many niggas getting money trying to move into the hood. No, no. That's backwards, bro. And that's the and, thing that and, pisses me off. 
that that you is rapper I'm saying, saying I'm, I'm in the hood, but no, you're in Malibu. Oh. You saying Compton, but you in Malibu. You saying Watts or South Central. You saying this, but you in Malibu. So you should talk about being a black man in Malibu that came from Compton, Watts or South Central. You feel me? The story and sounds dealing more, with your issues. A little bit more triumphant. Yeah, because yeah. you still got issues. And being some people ask me, well, if you from a hood. How do you still, I say, well, y'all don't understand how L.A. is. And how other, it could be Dago, it could be anywhere, wherever you're from. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a hood. You could be from there, but you don't have to just say, you know what? I'm done. I'm putting the flag down. I retired. It's just do different things and still affiliate yourself with, with your love. Yeah, ones. your homies are your homies forever. That's it. If you really fuck Ideally, with yeah. But it gets a point, though, because I kind of, you moving somewhere and your homie's like, bro, where you at Thursday? We're going to be here Thursday. You booked for a gig. It's now not they going feeling down. like, well, Icon is gone, nigga. Where he at on Now, Thursday? after a couple of missed occasions, you become, hey, Hollywood, what's that part, good? That part. And then you see who the haters are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I trust well, you know what? What'd you say? Some, some people try to get away, right? And Facts. they always get them calls like, nigga, he ain't from the hood no more. He don't come down here no more. So yeah, That's a winnie. Who said that about and, it? But, yeah. you know, I want people to understand, man, just because you upgrade your game don't mean you ain't still from where you from. And that I'm just part. making that as a general statement. That like, part. But you got people around them that are like, he don't come down here. Yeah. He's not from here. He not from here no more. Yeah, he used to hang out with such and such and them, but they don't even fuck with and him The only no time more. that holds weight is if he wasn't a loc or if he wasn't a rider or if he wasn't a real soldier. You know what I mean? Then that holds weight. You know what I mean? To me. Because if you didn't put in a gang of work and with who you are, where you're from. The respect is forever. It's going to be there. Motherfuckers is really telling you to get your ass out of here. But you're right, though, where they'll tell you about the average motherfucker. He ain't from over here. He don't be over here. Or you get told that, like, he ain't hanging out. Well, why would you? You know what I mean? What you hanging out for? What are we doing? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Got to be different things to hang out for these Absolutely. days. Absolutely. Feel me? Straight up. It's got to be. Know? Hey, man. Like, just my long story short and just how I keep looking at this situation. Like, man, these niggas is rich. Rich. What the fuck y'all doing down here with us? Rich as fuck. And that's that taking that air. Hey, man, that's that air coming in. Hey, man. Like, what the fuck are you doing down here with? Like, if you're trying to help, I can see that. But, like, just for certain people, like, man, you don't have to be in that shit, man. Step your game up. Move on with your life. You can still be from where you're from and all, all the extras, man. Like, don't. Just because you're evolving, isn't a, it doesn't make it a bad thing. I mean, it doesn't make you not down. For real. You know what I mean? doesn't make you not down, bro. Right. Like, right. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I think on this, I think it's unfortunate, you know what I mean, just for the whole situation that's happening. It's interesting because you feel like some people be talking about things they don't know about. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it's interesting to hear the take on certain people would be big mouth and not knowing. And I just, man, it's, it's unfortunate. I send my condolences to the family. Uh, my condolences, uh, man, for sure. You know, I mean, of a, a takeoff, you know what I mean, they whole family. But you know how I look at all this? Up. Bunch of rich niggas that should be coming together to make more money. Facts. And everybody who shouldn't be, everybody ain't worthy to hang out with. There's people right now, Corey <clears> and Icon, and, and, and you know, and bro and everybody else Pretty that you don't yeah. need to hang out with. Mm -hmm. Just certain people you've outgrown. Yeah. It is what it is that don't have your best interest at heart, that they want to go flock and rob, and you might have to be up here. Yeah, mess around and put you, know you in saying? a crazy situation. Or, or a motherfucker might, might be used to doing things and be like, Court used to bareback with us. Now he <laughs> wants to wear condoms. <laughs> I think it's okay, and I'm proud of that. You know what I'm saying? And that's good. That's a good place to stand. I'm glad he knows where you're at with it. Right, you know, I just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. <laughs> Yo, that shit caught me so good. All I do is sit here and start smiling. Yeah, yeah nigga. Nigga, nigga, nigga said, said Court, you should be back with us. Oh, man, that's a cold thing. Let's man. hit this next topic. We, man. we don't want to dwell too much. Let's get mm -hmm. moving. Andrew Tate has taken to Twitter with claims that he's been poisoned, showing pictures and videos of some of his symptoms. He does All right, not so hair. I want to pop this off. Damn. Okay. His hair? No. His hair ain't as nice as yours. I watched, listen, he he had claimed that, <laughs> listen, thank you. You think you like my hair, bro? Thanks. <laughs> I'm like, all, hey, dude. I appreciate that. Hey, bro, hey, man, we go get your hair transplanted. <laughs> hey. I can grow hair for you. See but listen, hairline? yeah, your shit could grow, huh? Jeez. Hey, so I heard him saying, like, he, um, all he had had was some coffee and water mm. that morning. And then maybe five to eight, maybe five, ten Bobby minutes later. Huh? No, this is him at his house. This is him like, at the crib. He's at the crib. They he's poisoned out. him at the crib. Yeah, he's he's saying that he's poisoned. I think he might be having an allergic reaction. Yeah. That's just Facts. me personally. I can understand. Listen, I love Andrew Tate. Yeah. I can understand. Bro, yes, you are a mogul. You are very popular. Yeah. But I don't think anybody trying to poison you, dog. Well, I, I can see where your mind's going. I can understand that because people have been fucking with him. But <laughs> I don't think anybody fucking slips some something in your folders, man. I just don't. 
Well, the thing is, you got to think, if I'm him, I'm like, well, first of all, let me rerun, rewind these cameras. And first Facts. of all, who has access to my kitchen and my food? For real. Very so true. You can limit that up right there. I, I agree on the lines of what you're saying. It could be something. But then again, we never know what type of funky motherfuckers it is. I seen a dude before on footage that worked in the office space that was pissing in the coffee. You know what Whoa. I mean? And they caught him on camera. A fat white dude was running up in Can there, <laughs> pulling his little weenie out, pissing in the fucking coffee, and people drinking the coffee. Mm. And people were saying, yo, the coffee is something's that weird with the coffee. That looks like, I'm being honest so, with you, bro, that looks that's like for sure. an allergic, allergic reaction. reaction yeah. He ingested something that's not fucking with his body right Right yeah. there on one of the slides, it says that he's allegedly not allergic How to shit. How long was he, Josh, can I ask you a question? How long was he in uh, jail for? How long did they detain him? A few months. He was down Probably for a bit. Three, three, four months. Now. He wasn't down for a whole last year. No, I, I don't think, think it was so. like nine months, something. Was it that long? Felt like it was four months or something. Oh, oh that's it. How about? Four months, five months. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes, yeah. December 22nd. Three months, yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. A Andrew's, man, one of them guys, man. You just never know these days. I agree with you, Sharp, but you just never know these days. You with don't. Type of, look at Kevin Samuel. But would he think like this? people celebrated him being, being dead. The women. That's this is crazy. crazy. But I promise you, this could have happened to his next door neighbor. Yeah. And nobody would have yeah. said anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He would have just been like, fuck, I'm having an allergic reaction. You know what I'm Going saying? But I understand doctor. the magnitude yeah. of the situation because he's so high profile. He's, yeah, he's so yeah. high profile yeah. and he's a target right yeah. now. You know yeah. what I'm you saying? So know. I can understand yeah. his concerns, but bro, your skin's not deteriorating. He could have took a Benadryl yeah. and called it a day. You could probably go take a couple of <laughs> Benadryl. I mean, try that at least before you make the video. My man definitely like, looked hey, like he's look, tripping. I tried right. to take some Benadryl. Yeah. This shit's not yeah. going down. Yeah. The inflammation's still going throughout my skin. I feel tattoo. like I feel like I've been poisoned. Yeah. Now at that point, I'm like, all right, something happened. This man didn't try to take fucking some shit to you know take all the the bumps and bruises yeah. and all the extra shit down yeah. off his body, and it's not working. He need he need to take some turmeric ginger tea. Hey, that picture. You know it saying? looks like a, it he looks like Bugatti's he's on fire. fire like it's a hot cool. rash. He looks like he's having a hot rash right now. Like it's hot on him. Like he might he's need some sleep. It and fucking yeah. looks fucked up. You Are allergic you? to anything, Josh? I am, but I don't even eat. I'm, I'm hate. What are you allergic to? Wild cherries. Wild, Wild cherries. cherries. That's some yeah. exotic shit. You know what I'm saying? Like just Processed natural cherries. cherries. The maraschinos. Yeah, <laughs> but like I'm saying, like if we go to a fucking cherry farm or something, I can't eat that hey, shit. Like yeah, if you go, I, I like to a bit like. Don't even got... go to a cherry farm, food the fuck around. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, just to eat, like, fuck with just wild cherries, things that haven't been rinsed and all the extra shit. Like you said, been been put through the fake processes. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. My body can only take the fake cherries, bro. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I mean, I admit that today. Fuck it. I got some bullshit hay fever. I don't get sick. I ain't allergic to shit, but I get hay fever. So whatever pile of cats and dogs, but a motherfucker that grew up with, you know, dogs. So I got a nigga that was allergic to grass. Answer your question. I'm not allergic to anything, but. Are we also maybe not considering steroids? Damn. Come on. My man took a bad no, cycle. No, bro. My man took a bad batch. Damn. I mean, those rashes look weird. What, 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 what are you can't, taking the steroids for? Bro? I can't stand for any for disrespect of the top G. Oh, is that what it's for? Certain <laughs> people use it for different things. I couldn't tell he what he's using it for. He said for muscles. <laughs> I couldn't tell. What no, you're a bad dude. I like steroids that. Are yeah, you can use steroids for the things. fucking asthma. I feel it. I got a yeah, fucking asthma pump easy. in my pocket. I feel okay. it. For real. <laughs> I'm not even capping. Look. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, they, they about to come out with some new shit. Remember how they had the COVID shot? Now they're going to have the inhalers. I'm not down to take a shot for the abuterol. Fuck a shot. That the, shit don't make no sense. Boy Gates is coming out, I think, with an inhaler. I'm definitely not fucking with anything Bill Gates got except Never. the computers. Niggas ain't never fixed He said, stick COVID to computers, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> stick to computers, my boy. They're about to fuck up all of our hey. microphones. Stick to computers. <laughs> Yo, Dre, stick to producers. <laughs> Calling me Ben the Dick, you Ben the Dick. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah, that was that shit. I don't know, man. Man, poor uh, Bro Bro, man. Bro's very high profile. And yeah, I agree with real. a lot of things he says. Some shit I don't and some things, but I feel for him. And, and I, I think he speaks a lot of truth. He you does. Know what I mean, just in general, and I feel like he is high profile. And he does have a he's target a, on his back. He's a he's very shot. listen. He's, he's a very smart individual. Yeah. I I think he I think he understands this situation. Yeah. And he should assess it a little bit more um, properly. Then. Yeah. Like say that you took something right. with it, try to take it down. Like right. I've seen you seen right. rashes before. Like yeah. it happens. <laughs> Babies get rashes. Grown ass people get yeah. heat rashes. That shit looks like a heat rash. That shit does look really If you look paranoid. at it, it looks like a heat. I mean, I would be paranoid, paranoid too. too. That's I'm why really. I'm not calling him crazy. I yeah. fuck with him. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah. I'm like, bro, like a Benadryl something? Yeah. <laughs> at least one and then come talk this shit. I feel you. They said he's in a yoga pose refusing medical attention. 
No. That's, I swear to God, it literally says that. He's in the <laughs> yoga pose and the upward dog, the downward dog. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> no, no. You know what's funny, man? Now, maybe because it's the younger generation, but I don't feel the need to say pause, bro. Hold and that's on. an issue. Just I, ain't nothing I'm saying is no fag. I mean, excuse me, no, no homosexual <laughs> things, you know, excuse me. But, uh, but just in general, none of that, you know what I mean? To each day on whatever you like is, is for you. I'm not mad at nobody. Do so your thing. this is a but Josh, You feel me? It's Josh, like, you ain't got to say pause. Uh, this is Andrew Tate. It's for Instagram. comedic purposes. I got you. Yeah. So he said, what? So Andrew Tate posts, he said, Andrew's fine, says the pain is part of life. He says the doctor will inject him with who knows what and kill him. Who wrote that? Andrew he's Tate in the, He's in the lotus position and drinking tea as long as he can breathe. He refuses medical attention. So far, so good. The question is where this came from. You better stay on that tea. The question yeah. is where this came from. Bruh, you might be taking... People's... Yeah. Listen, can we, can we all accept the fact here that people's body their bodies change facts over the years yeah some shit that you were you could do before yeah. you kind of can't do yeah. now you know what i'm saying why i don't change, know i'm not, a, I'm not yeah. a fucking doctor but yeah. i do know there's people that be like man i can't do the shit that i used to do yeah i try that shit now like even if it's a tea like something that just fucks with your yeah. body now because yeah. your body's not accepting or you it. like different. i didn't like greens and black eyed peas growing up i love them now Exactly. Love them now. You know, palace change, everything changed. Mm, but, uh, that's true. Yeah. Andrew Tate, man, shit moving on. You don't hear much. His brother must be all right. You know, <laughs> Tristan's man, chilling. Tristan be chilling. Tristan just looking at him, smoking yeah, a cigar like, really, yo, you're fucking tripping. Really, you know what I noticed? They don't really <laughs> fuck with Tristan like that. They don't like um, Tristan ain't try to bully school. him yeah, yeah. publicly too nobody much. nobody is fucking with Tate. Oh, I think oh Tristan his presses head. his brother? Yeah. yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't. Doesn't get pressed what, what? like he they like they try to press him, but he lets that shit man roll off his back. He ain't tripping. What I like about Tate too is bringing in the form like like the Matrix using it because now you know I like to quote when they say the Matrix wasn't a movie, it was a documentary. But if you look at everything we grew up on, if you look at uh, what was Arnold Schwarzenegger in with the uh, John Jonathan uh, John uh, what was the the raid the uh, against the machine and shit we're, we're fighting Terminator against the Terminator. You look at a lot of those things. That's where we're headed to. Isn't that the same series, kind of like the person that made Terminator also oh, wrote yeah, the Matrix? Miss, it's a woman named yep, uh, it's a lady. Sarah. Uh, oh, I can't think of her Don't name. Don't say Connor. Black woman. No, no. no. <laughs> but yeah, she's dope. Yeah, she came with it. But when you look at that, you look at a lot of movies. I remember seeing Black Mirror, and they had to show that shit's Mirror. crazy. Yep. Did you ever see the episode with the white lady that was going to a wedding and, and they had a, a credit score system for your life? I do believe okay, so. Okay, so China's doing that. Post pandemic, oh, or yep. pre-pandemic, they sure the hell they are. are. So if you walk out, there's a billion cameras now. You walk out and you jaywalk, that's getting deducted out of your account. So the Fed now that's bringing that in now, that's what they want to have control. So if Sharp and me want to go get some bullets and go shoot, and they say, you know what, y'all bought too many bullets this week. It's a cap on your bullets. We gonna stop your account. You brought, uh, you got asthma. You can't have a, 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 a goddamn candy bar. You know what I mean? That's you can't crazy. have. You bought too many shoes this week. So that's what's happening now. And then your credit score so in Black Mirror and the thing, if you your had a social thousand, score. all yep. of us have a social score of a thousand. I walk past court and I say, fuck court today. Your, your credit score dropped 50. Sharp say, man, I don't like the way court, man, you know, put that bottle down. You drop down a hundred. Now you can't rent the same cars <laughs> that Icon can rent at a thousand. You have to go to 900 mm. and rent that. You can't go to different places that people go to. So that's what they're trying to do to us now. You know what I mean? Is what China's doing. They just trying to see if the American people going to go for it. You know what Black, I mean? And I don't Black think these white boys with them guns going to go for it. Because the black men with the guns, we ain't going for it. And the, and our uh, Latino brothers, let's get Facts. it. Facts. Get it. I mean, come on, bro. Let's really look at the situation here, okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to piggyback off yeah. of what you were saying. Like, they've been showing you the Matrix and yeah. things like that. It was documentaries. I mean, hell, man, if you go as far back as the cartoon, The Jetsons, they yeah. were showing people talking on phones. That's right. FaceTime. Facts. That's right. Way back then. Electric cars was in the 1800s. They were, they were yeah. showing this, bro. Yeah. So... I feel like, man, they, 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 and I hate to get into the politic of it, but I feel like, man, they, they <laughs> feed us what they want to feed us, yeah. man. They, they give it to us. They're already 50 years ahead of this shit. Man. Like I was talking to the insurance adjuster the other day. They said, well, you know, our plan, cause I got classics insurance on my, uh, my Elko as a full mm -hmm, off frame. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she was like, you know, our plan is <clears throat> by 20, like 2040 or something like that is to be full electric. Yeah, definitely. They and beyond that, they they're they're like we're gonna they're already planning right now to go. To, I'm like damn full electric. Like you, it's not even crazy. an option yeah. anymore. Yeah, it was. I thought it was it's just an option. option. It's an option at this point. But now they are switching everything. It's about to not be any options. And, That's what you're gonna have bad, to get. It's bad on that to where now Toyota's got some new. I think it was Toyota. They got it to where if you don't pay your car note, they'll cut your AC off now. So now fuck your AC in the middle of 120 degree. Oh, her oh. name is Sophia Stewart too. You the didn't lady see the what they're coming out with now? Uh-uh. Oh, they're coming out to where um 
the car like in a repo itself. Oh, it'll now. drive itself. Yep. Yeah, it'll in a drive, repo yeah, it'll itself now. Yeah, it, man, bro, hard. for real, it will lock you out, start itself, and yeah. drive itself to where it needs to <laughs> take your ass to jail. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck the police. Your ass is strapped down on the way to go. I'm like, yeah, bro. I What's that from? In. Demolition Man, huh? That's like, like Demolition, Demolition Man. Yeah. Stuff? Wesley Snipes. Yep. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. No, 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 it was not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Rocky. Rocky, yeah. Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone Sylvester and uh, Stallone. Wesley, yep. Mm, and that, Judge was dope, Dredd. that was a dope Judge 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 Fire. Judge. You couldn't cuss. Judge Dredd, you get the judge. That's what it is. It's Judge, Judge Dredd. Dredd. It, ain't, it ain't Demolition Man. Yeah. It's Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd. You couldn't cuss. You couldn't do a lot of shit. But that's what they're trying to do and China's doing in that. Hit you with the three C show. So tape man shit, man. Hopefully tape, man, 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 man. And we wish the best for you for sure. Keep I wish the best for you, big dog, for real, man. We rooting for you over here, man. Keep it moving. Come on, keep pushing. Real. The top G. What's the next one, Josh? <laughs> Who's that person? Is I that a name? I saw that. No, drug dealer gives man a pound of oh, weed okay, to yeah. get back on. Oh, that's tight. Oh, one of my homies did that. Yeah, just to get back on. But you can tell he don't fuck with him. They don't even know each other, bro. They ain't even from the same part of town. Not at all. That's going to change that white man's whole view of, of, of what a dreadlock Bro, my man took is, it out the smell proof. He like, damn, he just blessed me. Facts. Now what is he going? Is he going to fuck it off? Yeah, he going to fuck it off. Nah, I'm think? sure he's going to sell his look. bum ass homies a couple of a couple of little he gonna nickels fuck it or something. And where he, he going to spend the money off. that he get from yeah. that on, on crack? You know, it reminds you of like that's like somebody come mm. robbed him. Y- y'all seen when the person put the little baby squirrel <laughs> up on the tree? <laughs> oh, look at him. He's cute. And the cat Bam. came and grabbed his ass. <laughs> Just like this. I ain't going to lie. That shit. Is that some Reggie? That might, bro. That I, don't I mean, maybe so. it was some dark bags here, yeah, but that shit don't even look green. I, ain't I don't. Front. I don't. Whatever uh, it is, he blessed him. If it's he Reggie blessed him. Whatever, well, I don't give a fuck him. what it is. What yeah, is he, that? They're across the street from a Walmart or something? He gonna take that back to the tunnel people, and they gonna be on. He probably was like, <laughs> hey, 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 tunnel, the king hey, of the tunnels. Yeah, right. the people under the like bridge Vegas. and shit. Hey, he, he, it's oh, like boy, that in oh, Vegas. There's tunnels, bro. They all live in. I'm like, he taking that back to the tunnels, bro. Oh boy, probably just had a deal, and he said, "Man, fuck this weed. I'm gonna throw this shit away." He said, "Man, fuck throwing away. Let me go and give it to somebody." That's the play. That's a blessing, though. That that's called playing it forward, right there. Yeah, you know paying, I mean? paying, paying it forward. forward. You know what I mean? That's paying it forward like right that. there, man. For so if real. you in line, I kind of, you know, and, and somebody says, hey, I paid for him. And to somebody that's Honestly, not even your I kind. I do shit like that. Yeah, I do too. When no. I see transient people in front of the store, bums and shit, I, I buy them food. I don't really want to buy them I don't always beer. do because some of them may have been molesters or rapists. Or, you know and, what? And they deserve to be in the fucking that's spot. That's crazy so that like you say interview. that. And who the fuck are you coming up to ask me for something? What's your name? Peter? What's up, Peter? I'm Dre. Introduce yourself to me before you ask me for anything, man. Let me assess you and read your energy. That's but that's crazy. good what you do, though. That's cool, though. You know what I mean? But they play on our emotion. Don't you hate when you pull up to a store or gas station, they sizing you up already? You know what I'm saying? I don't like, like that. I can feel, yeah. I can feel who, who <laughs> really need it and who don't need it. I don't know. I got a good yeah, yeah. sense. I can, like, I can if you pull up to me with the yeah, You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I'll be like, nah, yeah. I ain't got none. Or somebody, man, you could tell in his face, he been yeah. out here all day, bro. And in Vegas, where I'm at, man, it get hot in the summer times. When people Mother could really just be want a bottle of water. And they're exactly. like, man. Exactly. Mm-hmm. When people ask for food, I give them the food. You know how many, I'll tell you right. this. Do you know how many, I'll even buy someone a 40. Fuck that dude, do you know what people die from? from? Yeah. Do you know what people, homeless that was people, crazy. do you know what people die from the most? And the homeless people die from the most in Vegas? From eating good food. Heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion. Yeah, for sure. Like, man, you go into the morgue. I had to go do a class one time, bro, like some years ago. And it was in the summertime. And, you know, when I had to do like the corners class or whatever, right? So I go up in there and they take you through the intake and everything. And they show the board of everybody that's came in in the last week. Everything. Heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion. And they're all homeless people. Yeah. It is, gets so fucked up, bro. Y'all seen old boy who did that, right? The little, little black kid that, that bought the burger and went ate in front of the brother. I'm like, that was I would have wanted to what slap him. Yeah, I would have like, slapped the shit out of him. I would have walked by like him, bro. And I ain't even trying to be I guess violent. He doing that, so we talking but about I would have slapped the shit out of bro, yeah. homie. Like these little kids don't got no fucking sense, bro. That's the problem. Bro. These are little kids. I ain't understand. I know that. we're probably looking at these people because they get some type of look online and things like that. But these are not adults. Now, if the homeless man would have shanked him and ran off with the burger, it would have been. It would have been all his. You know they would have blamed it on Like, why you, know you playing saying? with me, little motherfucker? Like, you think this shit's a joke right. and you trying to record me? And, and the man was smoking crack in a video. Facts. Who was? The bum. Oh, the bum was hey, over there? But what if he would have snatched him and told him, put a pistol in his head and said, man, hit this crack rock while you're yeah. sitting there on yeah. camera? Yeah, eat this, hit this, hit this That would have been badass. Really. That would have been a way that better video. That would have switched your whole, I bet you all them little jokes and shit that be yeah. going on in the streets, half yeah. that should have stopped today. Nah, he would have already clucked yeah. that camera by now. He fuck around to on that fake ass burger. You know what I'm saying? But I look at things like like we're in such a shock jock age that, you know what I mean, shit don't make no sense. Like you just want attention so damn bad
I feel like you warrant the wrong attention. It's, mm. it's like when uh Frank Lucas wore the wore the wore the fur jacket, you know what <laughs> I mean, the fur coat and the thing, and fucked off his business by because and he wasn't like that before. Bitch, blot that out. That's alpaca. And people that, don't you know even. People don't even. You no know, real shit. Yeah. People don't even genuinely get into shit anymore. Yeah. It's what they see online. Yeah. So they culture, real surface they, level. They culture yeah. jockey. Yeah, they find it. They find some type of culture about it, and yeah. they try to become that. Yeah, facts. you know what I'm saying. Instead of getting out here and just finding who you truly are. Yeah, facts makes sense. You know, but you got kids like that, bro, that are really sitting there eating a fucking yeah, that's a, a hamburger that in lying. front of a homeless person. And you know what's so cold? I think that's what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to get a whole bunch of views. What if that homeless man wasn't even fucking caring about him? He's like, you know, I'm eating my crack rock that right boy. now. Facts. You think I want a fucking burger? Because he didn't ask look, shit. You think like, I want a fucking burger yeah, right he now, was bro? kind of looking at him kind of obliviously like, like, like what are what you doing? Like, is, Let's really dissect this right yeah. now. Like, what if that homeless man was oblivious to everything that was going on? He's just like, I just see some niggas recording and eating a hamburger. Oh, oh well. Right. Eat this crack and rock. Give a fuck, right. Let me hit this crack rock right. real quick. Right. He yeah. don't give a fuck. Crack ain't don't give a fuck where he doing it at. Facts. Crack has an amazing smell that is just <laughs> sits in your clothes and shit. I remember being younger. And it's a very peculiar it's smell. It's a different very it's peculiar. A, you bro. walk in, it's like damn. it's definitely unmistakable. It, it, it's knew, it's right. not like um, it don't smell like I don't even My say like brother. burnt rubber like right. or something that's burnt, but it's like like an old it got chemical cooked. Right? It's, a yeah, chem like it's chemicals something. you smell. I know what you mean by the rubber. It ain't a burnt rubber smell, but nah, it's something like that. You it's know? something like, like that, homie. Like it's weird. I, I mean, I've been around crackheads. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, man, I've been around crackheads, so I know. Yeah. And you know what be so cold? Everybody always say, like, when you walk into a crackhead's house, it's dirty. You know how I can tell you that? You know, you know how I can tell you why I know a crackhead's house is never dirty? Because they beamed up crack. or what? No, because they never had shit in it anyway. Ah, uh, they get they already <laughs> Straight sold the everything. Fuck up. Like, like they keep <laughs> they shit clean. I ain't <laughs> never been in a crackhead's yeah. house and it's yeah. been fucking messy. Well, you they ain't got gonna shit. Hire crackheads, you gonna hire them other motherfuckers to be on the meth. They like to clean. I saw motherfucking budget suites twenty I years some ago. Clean, clean crackheads though, bro. When I was coming up, I used to get my hair uh, braided from uh, Katie the braiding lady. She was a crackhead. My nigga, yeah. and I used to shoot her a couple stones. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying that's when, but crack died out. Like when I got around yeah, it, homie, it was that hey, shit was dying. Crack is coming back. In I got spots. a pocket full of stones. Y'all, y'all remember that? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, okay. Uh, but the cold thing, bro. I seen the dude on meth. Move, you know the big cement old school ashtrays, the cement round trash can. Oh, yeah, right. Vegas, that motherfucker moved it and swept up under there and moved it back. <laughs> I was <laughs> impressed. That said, is this that's fucking, fucking gifted. He need to get that ain't even man. just impressive. That's gifted. What is that drug doing to you to make you want to clean? Underneath, he that was very fucking. curious how dirty it was but under there. But that drug, I didn't know. Uh, uh, someone I knew was on it, and I hired them to do something at the crib before to, you know, do some work around the house. And they were taking it so serious. They was like, I'm the foreman on this job. I said, bro, this is my daughter's room. I got some input. <laughs> hey, can I be and real? Said, I'm the foreman. I said, oh, he on that shit. I, I, think, I, was moving. I think I might have figured it out, bro. And I could be right. I could be wrong. Maybe y'all going to agree or disagree. But I feel like people that, that we see trip out on it yeah. already had some type of mental issues. Yeah, that's so true. So when you, they already got a chemical imbalance. Yeah, right? that shit's exasperated so, by the drug. So when yeah. you put them on this, it makes whatever they kind of go through yeah. intense and Magnified. amplify yeah, times yeah, yeah. fucking 10. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's what you really be seeing is crazy people doing drugs. Right. There's a lot know. of functioning. No, I'm just saying, man, we got doctors, you got lawyers. I don't know where the fuck they are out in the world and shout out to them. But you got <laughs> these people, man, that do drugs up under your nose and you never know. There's been, you got to think about it. There's doctors that are hitting a fucking, some crack rock or doing a well, line and going in there and doing open heart surgery. You like, couldn't do you surgery without the crack. I was pissed <laughs> off. I rolled up with my genome. That shit's scary. I'm a teen there. Y'all said, why are we at the hospital? He said, the doctor about to come out. He come yeah. out with a thing. He said, I You never know surgery. what the fuck's working on Buying you. Crack. I, I was appalled. I was appalled. Yeah, I pissed off, though. That fucked me up, though. I was. Because huh? you know why it fucks you up? It's because now you don't even know who the fuck's working on you to save your life. That's right. And he ain't got no family. That nigga could be now. mad today and be like, bro, they gave me some bad shit. My bad, you died on the table. Bro, uh, let's go right. ahead and count the time. Um, died, bro, ten, pronounced Y'all didn't hear about the dentist who was drugging people and he was on drugs and he was raping them. Yeah. That is so inappropriate as fuck. He, he, told, he told a drug dealer, a brother. The brother yeah. went and told on him. <laughs> Hell <laughs> he said, yeah. Because he don't know if he was raped. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you wake up, you don't know what the fuck can happen. Bro, that's some, that's some, <laughs> man. Well, that's homie some, thought you, like, damn, this was did my teeth too. What else did he do to me? Homie. That you know is saying? crazy. I said, wow. I don't bro. think I would have told on him. That's some other shit. He would have. 
Man, I can't Let's wait till I get old. Y'all some cool ass niggas. Come on, man. You, man, you, you, jump you this next name. topic. You'll be 22 next year. This, <laughs> this is crazy. You wear beards until you're 14. Hey, this one right here. This one right here hurts me, bro, because I grew up on this guy. Facts. We all This did. one right here. I, I oh, think Jerry. this is why I even want, this is why I really wanted to come to the news today because I heard uh. this topic was going to get pushed. And I really wanted to talk Jerry. about it real quick, man. Look at Jerry. Hey, go back to what year. Jerry made a lot I, I, I of gotta money. I got to say, man, uh, Jerry Springer, the former Cincinnati news anchor and mayor who came to preside over the controversial and extremely profitable talk show, has died at 79. Mm. Springer died Thursday at his home in the Chicago suburbs. The cause was pancreatic cancer. That's pancreatic sad. cancer. Bro, I'm going to tell you this. <clears throat> I never mm. knew how far. It's like fucking Zap and Roger. I never knew how far. Jerry Springer was ahead of his time, bro. Facts. He brought reality TV mm. to life, yeah. to a basic channel. Yeah. You never had to go see him on, you never had to have cable to watch right. Jerry Springer. Didn't that shit came on. Like a governor or something like that? A mayor. Bro. A mayor. He ended up being a mayor. Oh, he was, I think since Chicago for all or the, Cincinnati. Well, listen, maybe Chicago. For all the people that got reality TV shows today that have any type of fucking controversy into it, he was the damn Creator, yeah. yep, the pioneer. I don't give a fuck. Jenny what Jones, anybody Ricky says. Lake, even his security guard got his own show. Yep. Put it like that. That's the cop, the cop. off of saying Steve, a couple Steve words. Wilco. Steve Wilkos. Steve, yep. Steve, yep. Steve was a fool. Bro, this one right here fucking hurt me, man. Yeah, man. Shit, Jerry. Jerry made a lot of money y'all, and exploited a lot of... It says that he practiced He exploited law. a lot of freaking uh, white people, too. It says too. that yeah, he, he practiced law in Cincinnati, eventually getting elected to the city council in 1971, but not, by 1974, he had to resign, admitting he paid a sex worker by check. That's but but was reelected in night. <laughs> I fuck with him, bro. But was reelected in 1975 and in 1977. He served him. as a as a man a year as he a mayor was, of Cincinnati. So people fucked with him. They didn't give a yeah. fuck. Me. They all said, "Man, hey, man, we know what you was doing. You, just, <laughs> you got caught. That's all it was." Yeah, he, he resigned to him, duck bro. the charge, and then they just brought him back. Bro, <laughs> I woke up this morning, bro. I swear to you, man. I, I thought about him for a while. I said, "Damn, bro, that was crazy. he was a part of." I used to watch him, man, when I was suspended from school. Right. Exactly. I used to watch him when I couldn't Jerry. go nowhere, and I just Jerry. hear Jerry about 10 Jerry. in the morning. He's come on at 10 o'clock in the morning, bro. Oh, right. yeah. 10 o'clock in the morning, they just start running. You, you just trip when you see how they would just set it up, and it'd be bing, bing, bing. And then you could see the fake ones at times. The real ones was dope. But when the fake ones, you could tell. <laughs> the ding, you know ding, ding. They just start. They just break from backstage straight to the stage and just start scrapping. Yeah, yeah. Bring a paper views. Wow. Hey, that was a thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Naked bitches and all that. Oh, on I never there. saw well, one Well, it all. wasn't wow. the pay-per-view. It was the best of Jerry Springer. So they used to sell VHS tapes, and you can get, like, the whole collection. And it was all uncensored. <laughs> My nigga nah, I remember they had... I mean, yeah. I grew up <laughs> on that Sharks. VHS. Nah, like, they, like they that. had... Like, Jerry, like, y'all remember yeah, that shit? They had like, Jerry Springer. You never watched you the VHS? Know? Like, uh, They had Jerry no, Springer absolutely. too high for TV. That's what we grew up on, huh? It was Jerry Springer too high for TV. You don't remember Too high for TV. I remember That's the movie, isn't it? No, no, that's the pay per view. That was just like, yeah, you pretty much you paid for VHSs. Like they'd send you a whole Jenny fucking Jones collection. Did Jimmy Jones come from him too? Nah, no, no, no. Hell she was on no. her own shit. Bro, let me tell yeah. you something. I don't think there was anybody. Yeah. That got close to what the fuck he had going on. And I'm gonna tell you Not this those fights were real. Yeah. Back yeah. then. It's yeah. all like it's all looks like bullshit yeah. today. But them fights, homie, yeah, back then, was yeah, they was one popping. thousand. They was popping. I used to love when he used to do his, <laughs> I used to love when when you know Jerry did his final thoughts. Yeah, yeah. And at the very end of it, he used to be like this take care of yourself yeah. and each other. Yeah. And I'm going to be real with you. On my show, Sellies, that you're going to be coming on, I yeah. call that at the end. You know what I do at the end. I know what you do at the, the end. The final thought. The final thought. That comes from Jerry. I didn't even think about that Just to now. keep it 1,000. Thank you, That's Jerry. who Rest brought peace, that brother. to us. Can we Straight pull up, up like a final thought recap on him? Like just a, I just want to hear one like more that. before we. Go and pay Jerry some money. Bro. Like, yeah, yeah bro. Like, like his motherfuckers Jerry. don't know he brought reality. <laughs> he is reality TV and brought that shit raw and uncut, bro, before they start trying to cut that shit. So Jerry, Jerry paid a sex worker by check. <laughs> I gotta hear this real quick. That's how he got caught. A final thought. And he had a Ooh, this is a love to be committed to you exclusively, to be monogamous, to tell all other suitors or would-be lovers to back off and stay away. He or she is with you and only you. And indeed, you have the right to demand of the person you want to be the Better significant move. other in your life that kind of commitment. But you also have to know that love can't just be an obligation. The person you want 
has to want you just as much on his or her own. If you force someone to make a that's right, Jerry. You just can't Jerry get talking, game Jerry like talking that, some truth. Bro. Yeah, yeah. You just couldn't get that was game pretty like deep, that huh? no more. Think yeah. about it. And people, yeah. they, they won't even listen to this shit no more, yeah. bro. After he was gone, like, come on, homie. I always That's remember Jerry Springer, man. R.I.P., man. That's Jay right. Spring. Mm-hmm. Damn. It's to you, baby. It's the end of an era, for sure. Yeah, it is. Wow. Damn. But to be fair, he was 79. Ain't got like a, a decent life. He lived a, pr- I mean, I mean, but, but me, you gotta lived think, a fruitful life. He died over a disease, though, pancreatic cancer. Like, mm. that's what's bad. So he had more time to live if he mm. died from that. So mm. these days, that's a full life. But really, is it? Because mm. imagine you 79 moving around, strong, still knocking shit down. And then you just collapse. And you out. That ain't yeah. it. I hear a lot of people say, I don't want to be old, but pancreatic old, like cancer you said. is crazy. Get to be, come on, man. Look at us, baby. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to do it how you do it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Miss the fuck out of you, man. Moving on. Yeah, Moving Jerry. on, man. So next that'd, one. That would be a great interview to have Jerry on the Sharp Tank. I can't believe, man. Jerry checked out on us, man. Jerry, another another death we're going to talk about right here. Southern California potential oh. future legend Money Sign Sway died mm. after he was stabbed in a shower at a California prison. Authorities said, and his attorney Nicholas Rosenberg said, he was found in the shower area of a correctional training facility in Soledad mm. shortly before 10 p.m. Tuesday, despite life saving efforts he died at the prison medical facility i'm not familiar with bro put me up on bro uh he's from huntington park are you familiar okay. yeah huntington course. park yeah, yeah. uh he's a young kid i think he's about 22 years old i've I shot gonna ask you how i've, old he I've was. shot damn. music videos for this kid oh, he, damn. You know i want to tell you he's definitely one of the more prominent latin artists that were coming up he was signed to atlantic damn. they was calling him hey they were saying <clears throat> he he's was a, the, he, they was like he was like kodak black they say he was calling him kodak brown what? Nah, yeah, that, yeah, they was really fucking with him. Nah, him, that bro. they were they, they was about to go up. With a mustache? They nah, say he was uh, he's about, about my up. height. Oh, okay, okay. So about our height, because I think oh, right we're here? about the same height. Yep, they oh, say okay, he I was about to, to go up, yeah. bro. Nah, yeah, he was already on. He sold out the Roxy. He did a lot of great things in his small, short wow. time as a as an yeah. artist. But he was uh he was definitely the heir apparent to being the best Latin rapper that was out. Is he a Southsider? Uh, yes, he is. Oh, so he had politics going on up in there. Yeah. You never know what was going never on. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to tell. There. Yeah, you don't just d- randomly die from a stabbing in prison. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That does. That's a no go. Especially, yeah. it just don't go that way. If yeah. you guys are familiar with the way prison works, that shit don't go that way. You know what I mean? Twenty two years old. Man. Exactly. That's, that's what baby, I'm stuck man. on about this entire situation. Twenty two years Killed old. In jail. He that's didn't even up. get to live a full quarter of his life. Has man. he been up here? I feel like he's been up here, Josh. Yeah. 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 He's yep. Did he came with peso or did he get his own? Yeah, perfect. It's it's yep. so young. You remember at 300 when old boy's uh, son was killed, the general, and he said he hasn't even yet felt the warmth of a woman. And he did. I mean, obviously, I'm sure he has, but just saying the fact nah. that he's such a baby. That boy, 22 years Biggie old. Biggie and Pac. That's you a baby. Young. If he did, he got a small taste of it and got that checked part. out. Church. There's oh, a yeah. high right. chance that he's going to be considered like a Mexican Tupac at this junction. Wow. I would. He was, he was definitely on this. The trajectory was very upward. And was he dope too? Uh, yeah, he was pretty he was. cool. That's yeah. dope. All right. That's Even dope. I like him. I'm black. I think it was it. <laughs> I mean, let's look at the bright side right. here, right? Like, All I mean, right. and I'll, I'll give you that. And while I, at first I was like, "What the fuck is Icon saying?" But then I think about it, I'm like, "Damn, Pac did die at 25." Man, Biggie and Pac, they was babies. You know what I'm saying? They yeah, were they babies too. So when I look at that, I'm like, I'm glad I didn't say I that. I was a kid like, "Whoa, him. hold the fuck on!" Like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember. Pac died three years. Older than him. Pop, I'm not Pop gonna say. Me, I'm bro. not gonna say by no by no uh, distance is he anywhere near Pac's impactful right. status. Right. But for That's Mexicans, right on. Right on. no, yeah, but right for on. Mexicans in Los Angeles, oh, you know what? This is a lot closer to like a Mexican Nipsey scenario. Interesting. Because obviously Pac was worldwide. Nipsey is a lot more known locally to but us. But I love how you gave him his flowers and say he could have been there. He was gonna be that, like very highly likely that he was. You ain't gotta change it. We was already with you. You already had a soul. Yeah, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't have to change it. We yeah, got I you. Mean, man. That's and, what's and, up. And what's homie. his name? What's way? Uh, money, money signs money way. Signs money signs way. Signs way. His numbers Damn. were were very popular. I mean, it's the fact you didn't shot videos and stuff for him. You know him. You know what I'm saying? He's it cool seems like it's up. impacted a lot of people. Like I was talking yeah. last night, man. Him and Blazzy was hella cool. You know, so. Yeah. It sound like he fucked up the head, man. Shout out to Blazzy, man. Wherever you at, church. Here's what Keep we talk about up, about separating. I don't know what happened with him. He could could have been tickets, could have been anything. But when we gotta separate the two, once you do, it's almost like you use like the whole hood to become who you are. And then once you get there, you do have to separate. You do gotta like pull it apart. But going to prison and going to jail, it's hard to separate. Not unless you gonna PC up. You know what I'm saying? And do what you gonna do. It's hard to do that. You know. What yeah. I'm saying? But you know, it always goes back to say like you are gonna be down. 
Niggas don't care about your money and your yeah, notoriety in the game of you rapping and or the, and the, not to be singing. Something. Right? They, they, they actually right. expect more out of you. And the cold part That's is, crazy. That's a fact. when you're young like that, you don't know when enough is enough. Like when you've proved yourself. Yeah. Especially when there's other people around you gassing yeah. it up. Yeah, right. they're you're, not telling you you proved yourself. Yeah, they're like, you, hey, you got to go do this now. you like, didn't I get three stripes? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you're going to get stripes tonight. You want them tonight? Get them. <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean? Get them tonight. You, know? <laughs> you just got money. Yeah. You just got yeah, money, man. Yeah. They just like you for rap. They don't like you because you're really down with yeah. the set. Yeah. No, nah, bro. Like, yeah. why push that on somebody? Like, mm -hmm. I don't understand. And I'm just asking. And I yeah. ask this as a, as, a, as a general movement. Like, why don't when you see one of your little homies, you could be from a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. This is from anybody from anywhere, all over the country. How you see your... You see a little homie moving, like, why don't you just stand behind him and help yeah. him push? Well, versus they really I, don't give a fuck about him. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? Versus trying to, like, do you know that some of the things that you're telling him is, a, is about to keep him down and hold him yeah. back from that? Yeah. Possibly lose his life? Yeah. Like I said before, it's a cold thing to be from a neighborhood and to be on some, I don't want to say kumbaya, but be on some Facts. movement and then somebody gets smacked. And they look at you like, you know, it's a hard situation where you want to be kumbaya and move forward, but you got to smack back. Right. You got to, and that's you the no choice about it. Yeah, and no I, that's why I try to, I don't even try to stay away from certain things because I know my mentality as a strategist or a thinker well, that's is growth. like you touch, yeah, just growth. That's yeah, growth, precisely. man. That's but growth. it's hard to tell certain people things like, you know, hey, don't do that. You know what I mean? When they got to go through it. And then how you going to tell people they want to be from something if they, they got to get stripes? I definitely tell the younger you homies. Get stripes at if it ain't no I definitely to always try to tell the younger homies it's cool that you did your thing, but if you're trying to do something different, just some things are just oil and water, my yeah. boy. You know Talk what I'm saying? That shit. Yeah. Fact. And you can't hire Talk a security guard. You need someone with a blower? Yeah. Tell your homie to go get a guard card That's before right. the motherfucker we gets a felony. We need you that on. Part. This is how I'm looking that at part. it, right? I'm yeah, like, okay, this is our little homie, right? Let's say we all from the same set. We got a little homie that's getting on. Why are we going to encourage him to fuck up? We need right. this nigga to blow. Right. Open up the door so we can come in too. On the flip side of that, though, there's just a lot of motherfuckers that don't think that way because they yeah. haven't seen the promised land to think that way. Right. You know what I'm saying? We on some... We got to try, Icon. When do we no, attempt absolutely. I totally to feel fucking it. try to grow a brain to yeah. try this? Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? It's easy to point this nigga in the wrong direction. Yeah. That's the easy route. Yeah. Hard route is keeping the nigga out of trouble so he can go blow up, make some millions, and yeah. guess what? Nigga fuck around and respect us. He done got, went and hit for 50 mil, come back and hand all, each one of us a million. Yeah. That's Just how, because that's how he's like, man, I, I see that y'all tried to keep me out of the bullshit. Y'all could have sent me to go do suicide yeah. missions. Yeah. Facts. But y'all didn't. Yeah. Y'all sent me and kept my nose in this music and kept me evolving. And I, I've been in situations being younger where I had, you know, opportunities and then different homies was like, yo, don't do that. But yeah. I wanted to go and do it because I was like, no, you yo, wanted to fuck around. Well, I ain't going to be who I am if amongst that's what everybody. You do, right, right. I can understand. But that. having the people telling you that ain't the play. And they're, is, you're really looking at them like, what do I do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, can yeah. I go, which way do I go right now? Mm -hmm. And you, you, and they show you yeah. that you have the control of the. You know, of the situation, homie, of the narrative. And I've done that. I've taken a young homie that's like, hey, he just got put on. I'm like, hey, bro, you so talented. Hey, damn, all that. But it did cause some resentment with other homies. Like, he Absolutely. ain't put in no work. Absolutely. He ain't never put in no work, but he with you, and he's rapping. But he ain't no punk. When he got put on, he whooped on two homies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not no punk, but, you know, you still got to, people, you know, look at it like, well, what's better about him than me? Well, he's talented, and he can do something for all of us. Like, can you rap, fool? Like, right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. But that, yeah, sad man, man, man. Rest in peace to bro. You know what I'm saying? For real. Sign sway, man. Definitely crazy. We gonna, we gonna miss you, little homie. I ain't never got to meet you, and I yeah, wish I could have put you on a sharp tag, man. For real. For real. That's real, homie. Much love to you, my nigga, and your family. Absolutely. <clears throat> we gonna miss you. 42 Doug. 42 Doug was sentenced to one year in federal prison on Wednesday for failing to surrender in an earlier gun case. U.S. District Judge William Ray in Atlanta spared 42 Doug from the maximum five years in prison, but it's twice as long as the six-month sentence recommendation by prosecutors. Damn, so he had a sentencing guideline, and they could have gave him the less time, but they still hit him a little more. He was uh, also he also has to serve three years of supervised release, pay a $20,000 fine, and, of course, refrain from any illegal What got him more time? So they, want him to, they want him to serve one year in federal prison. They want him to serve one year example. in federal prison. Why don't they just make it a state case? I don't even right. understand that. I think if he's going to serve one year, and like I don't want him to serve no time. Made it federal. I think it's because yeah, it's somewhere like, else. But because no, but I'm just saying, Chicago? like with federal, like when Atlanta. the feds, when like oh. when the feds got you, homie, they fucking got you. No, yeah, it's there's not like no, state. yeah, it's not like state, homie. Oh, right. well, right. well, well, so my well, nigga. well, yeah, that's crazy. Well, well, damn, that's crazy.
Little like homie. I'm just being real. Like I'm I'm just looking at it like I'm like this I, seems I, more like a state case to me. Yeah. Like why put it federal? Y'all gave him a fucking year, dog. Like because they make an example because his name fed, is popular. Feds love man. Probably. They love to to That's give out some time. You know and whether nah, it's yeah. And you're doing all of it. And you're you're gonna yeah, do ninety percent of that yeah, shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they always say when the feds come knocking, just don't even say nothing because they already feel like they know what they know already. Right. Yeah, they know everything. already. They know everything already, dog. So you might as well just keep moving. But for a year, he could have did that and fucking count. Jail. To me, and without he him being did that even, a, the case. he could have did that <laughs> exactly, bro. Like, what the fuck? And is And without this? him being more of a recognized rapper, even to the courts, it's like I think these days anybody on their Instagram doing anything is going to be a standard. Check his Instagram. Oh, he on there talking about yeah. I don't mm. give a. You getting time? Facts. You know what I mean? So I, I even had someone tell me in business, you know, um, was like, hey, be careful about Instagram with certain things because we feel comfortable. We chilling with the homies. I'm over here smoking. All that is too much information at times. We give up too much of who we are to yeah. randoms who don't deserve it. We pushing a brand and doing what we doing. Let's stick, stick to, to that. that shit. That's it. Telling somebody what you you like to bear back. You like weed. You like this. Well, yo, whatever I'm it is. Come to bear back, nigga. By the end of this episode, God he God. just said it because he felt like you could accept it. It's true. You know, and he, true. he looked at the person that was least likely to take that Fuck shit out of context, yeah, yeah. out of yeah, context, court and you were cool with it. We look court yeah. talk, man. Oh, I'm bear back. Court, you said court. Hey, I love you to death, yeah, but you're yeah, a, yeah. a freaky yeah. motherfucker, bro. I know that. You're a freaky motherfucker. I just met this nigga, man. Right, but <laughs> look, I got that look, it's the beard. I can see certain beards. I can tell. You know what I'm saying? Man, God, thank God you ain't listened to the episode where I talked about the chick with Down syndrome, or she may not have Down Whoa. syndrome. Damn, I missed that. The one. fuck yeah. was that? He Damn. smashed her. She. It was never confirmed. Right or denied. It was never confirmed okay. or denied. Or denied. <laughs> You can tell he working and, media. And, 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 and respectfully, I, most Down syndrome people I see respectfully have a certain look. It doesn't matter Absolutely. if you're Asian, yeah, you're Latino, it's not, black. It's there's just something a look. about the face that gives you yeah, the it's a facial shape. Yeah. Did yeah. you see that they just yeah. came out with a Barbie doll? Mattel did just came oh, out with wow. a Barbie doll that was it's, it's a form of a Down syndrome. Oh, wow. That's, that's how we ended nice. up talking yeah. about it. Nice. Let me say this. Did you see that, Josh? She, she had she had the Down syndrome face, right? Yeah. But I met her at work. We was coworkers. How the fuck you hired this bitch if she? Got Down syndrome, bro. It's called I don't want to say like. Employment. Can I ask you a question? Remember, Corky, his name was Corky. I want to ask him a serious right. ass question. Why, why, so, so Down syndrome. Did you? So. Did you, in a sense, did you, um, like, because you knew her, right? You like, you yeah, hung out around her. Did you? Did, did you low key target her? <laughs> he said the face was Down syndrome, but the body <laughs> wasn't. Fucking the body shit. wasn't. <laughs> that's that's what what it was. Not only that, I knew you would phrase that good. I would have phrased it all fucked up. I'm just saying. Like I'm Ooh. just asking. It's not a listen. She just was it a fantasy for you? To she where you made it kind of like a target. You if made you it a goal. If you would have <laughs> seen fantasy, her ass, fantasy, you would have you would have understood That's where I was coming saw. from. That's all he saw. That's right. all I saw. <laughs> and the thing is, she didn't have like a voice where like. She sounded like she had Down syndrome necessarily. Right, right. She had a big tongue, so and she used to say words funny. But I don't think she had Down syndrome. Now, saying all that to say, you backed her down, though. No. Definitely it, tipless condoms. It was no condoms. Uh, okay, it was, it was back. He backed it. Back. <laughs> back. <laughs> Wherever you are, Bro, please go get yourself checked. I just want to know because okay? I'm kind of confused here. It was good. You, so, all right, no, it was I'm saying, good, that part. is this... So, so is that why you said like it's not it. you don't know if he, we can confirm it or not that she actually had Down syndrome? Like she I wasn't going to fuck around and ask her. <laughs> what made you think she had it? The uh, face? A little bit of everything. He knew. Not that ass though. Not that okay, ass though. Right, yeah. Right. 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 And the thing is, <laughs> if I, I didn't meet her, I would have been like, oh yeah, did you like you or did you trick her? No, we liked each other. Okay, cool. The thing is, so you loved her. Look, if I didn't meet her at work, I would have been like, all right, this bitch is a little bit retarded. But I met her at work. I didn't think retards had jobs. You got some job crazy doing fetishes, Corey. What job was y'all doing? We, what work? We was working retail. Okay. <laughs> I worked in a fitting room. She worked in a fitting room. Did you okay. smash her in the fitting room? No, nah, I wanted to. Right. That's what I'm, <laughs> on the closing <laughs> shit. <sure. laughs> well, she in Brooklyn. Was and she was like, uh, uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, I used to have a Down do syndrome girl that don't I knew, that, and church. she liked me. And I was in junior high school. She used that? to call me ugly. I didn't. I wasn't even having sex yet. Missed then. out. That's and, tight. and she was calling me ugly. She was like, hey. "You ugly," but hey. she liked me. But I, I never had a problem I, with her. I, you know when I was a kid, bro, like I think I was in like sixth grade. I messed with a girl that was deaf, but she was bad. Oh, now bro. everybody with it now. She was bad. Everybody though, with bro. it. No, she couldn't really. So talk. how did you communicate by yeah. writing? No, she can understand the words. She just kind of. 
she couldn't hear herself. I like, understand. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But I guess she was deaf. That like, she can understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, just exactly. couldn't <laughs> say. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, it's a thing. I it's a thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but, <laughs> bro, hey, because I, I don't know, bro, how to right. say it. Like, fuck right. all y'all. Like, right. I'm uh, yeah, she's right, fully right. coherent. She, she was, just can't enunciate shit. Yeah, she was bad, yeah, yeah. bro. No, I, she was bad as a motherfucker when I was a kid. To me, I mean, I don't. Probably looked at her like fucking probably ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Maybe, but the death ain't got nothing to do with how she looked. She was bad, bro, and but she was cool with me. I mean, I don't know. Like I don't yeah. I don't judge people. Yeah. Hey, what's up Even with you? Game, was I mean, I never got into it to judge. Yeah, right. It's not an advantage. Judge, you know? They need sex too. <laughs> <laughs> you got any crazy special um, stories and shit? Not, not, not with any women that was. Uh, <laughs> only fuck Why are you doing this, Icon? I, I, I never, I, I you never, motherfuckers taking advantage. I never knocked shit. anybody down that had any had any mental or physical, uh, you know, handicaps at all. I can't say. You ever take down any big bitches? No, not You're at all. Missing Thick. out all around. Thick. I did. I miss mean, out what would we got to do? At a young big. age, I have my choice at the pick of the litter. At a I've young taken age. down a big, big. But bitch. what do we? But I what we down a big I was, I was your si I'm supposed to be hey. your build. Hey, listen. I'm not what, capping. What? I'm what serious. happened? I be eating this shit. Bro, you fool. But what would we? But what would we consider? <laughs> Gordo. What would we consider right? thick? Because there's some bitches that are one fucking nacho grande away from Taco now, Bell and fucking a just. Bit. He talking about gut. I'm talking you know about a big gut. You know what I'm That's saying? Like bit. you said, thick. I'm yeah. listening to you. Right, he was right. like, okay. no, I like you probably thick have chicks. Like thick, so what would be yeah. the preference of a thick? Because like right. I said, there's some chicks, man, that they fucking one one nacho. Del yeah, Grande yeah. away, man. Some shapes, some people. I've seen a beautiful, thick woman with a little waist and big thighs and a gigantic ass where the ass was a little too much for my liking. Mm. It was just a big ass. Too much. And, yeah. and every man, you, you remember the dinosaurs used to come on the show <laughs> with the little baby? Their stomachs. I, I don't. I can't rock with any, any woman. That, any woman that has a has a a, a gut or a foop or whatever that that comes off manly, <laughs> masculine to me. Now, I don't like no woman that has a, a stomach. Any type of gut. That makes me think of a trucker or something like a female trucker or something. I don't know. No disrespect to the female truckers. Bitches I know some fine and shit. ones. Uh, Josh. Just yeah. Large see, Marge. Let me see the Barbie doll. Large Marge. I'm, 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 I'm curious to see the, the Barbie that they came out with. This is the Barbie that they came I out mean, with. I mean, she ain't bad Josh. looking. She She's just has more of a square <laughs> face. Yeah, Court definitely likes that shit. She's not bad looking though. She just got more of a full square face. She got the, the braces on. I think they fucked up with that's the braces. That's crazy. I seen some pretty that's women with some braces. Not, I don't like that. No, I'm because talking about on the that's ankles. Crazy. I don't like that. Like uh, that's the only part about uh, Barbie. Oh, the Forrest like Gumps. I don't really? like that. Bro. I don't like that, bro. I think that's I, I like the She the could rest jog of that shit off. <laughs> Forrest mama had to had to fuck for the money. I just went to school. She I got, he came out like Forrest said, huh. Oh. 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 <laughs> we know this. We know what the, you notice her. You know her. You know the lady. That's you know the girl her. in there. Court, come on, that's it's the her. way you did it, bro. That's the girl. Oh, you fucking lying. Man. Look, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Oh, I'm, lying. <laughs> I'm just saying this. <laughs> hey, we Junior. know what the Barbie was made for. We know what it was intended to be. What it was yeah. intended to do. We do not need to have braces on her legs. I yeah, just don't. Yeah. I, yeah. We we understand where the Barbie comes from and yeah. why it, the, the 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 object is to make the make it seem as normal as possible, yeah, yeah. right? Not sit there and separate it. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like putting them braces on separates. Is Barbie yeah. culture vulture to a degree, or or picking <laughs> diseases and 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 syndromes and things to take? Because I've seen black old school like jazz singers and different things. Rosa Parks Barbie doll. Who's getting that money? You know what I'm saying? Not like, Rosa Parks. I mean, you know, and then that might make they my might have to license say, the likeness. <laughs> right. So somebody's getting a check then. Someone okay, got a right. license of likeness. Right. If it's copywritten or trademarked yeah. or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Now, real talk. Real what the talk. fuck is going on here on the news? Now, today, who are these bro? people? Hey, for what's wild like Sukiyana, this every day? You sure you want to hang young, out? Mi young Miami. <laughs> Young Miami's on the right. I love yeah. when they piss on me. Sukiana's on, on, on the left. Oh, she disgusts All I want to say is for this. Yeah, let's unpause. Let's, let's hear her. I'll, I'll take her. this No one. sound. Yeah, Court, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say this. I want the world to look at this and what these ladies are saying and go and let R. Kelly out tomorrow. That part. <laughs> let him out tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to throw it out there. And, and, and people can sit there and they can hate on that all they want my to. But they need to let that know. man out. Because you got girls right here, right now, admitting to, hey, I love when niggas piss on me. Now, 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 one thing I will say now, when they're all, of age, without though. seeing all the tape, and I, we saw how long the tape do we know out, how long they've liked that? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, look, uh, well, I got a look, story, but I can't just, tell it. Now, That's look, crazy. is it right or wrong for this? Now, if you are into that, I'm not personally into that. I don't want to urinate or do anything feces, and I'm not that that kind of guy. But but when R did that, <laughs> Man, it was a clip going around. Bitch. R wiped them off. <laughs> Have you pissed oh. on the girl? R wiped them off. So, look, if you're going to piss on the girl, are you supposed to wipe it off? That's disgusting. No, he had a towel and wiped her like, I pissed on you, now let me wipe it off. That Aren't towel's done. Aren't you supposed to not give a fucking piss and keep it moving? I would. Of course. Have I you am. pissed? <laughs> All right. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Have you ever pissed on someone, Courtney? <laughs> yeah, and then I put the toilet seat around the bitch's shoulders. Damn! What wow. the fuck is wrong with you, man? The visual of that you is just crazy. You fucked up the whole feel and vibe of that one. He said, yeah, and I put the toilet seat around the bitch. He was maxing I mean, her out in the restroom. If I'm going to urinate on a woman, I don't want her no more, though. I don't know I'm not in pissed on if I'm into you. Me personally. Just I mean, rinse her that's off. too crazy. Okay. Huh? So rinse say her this. off. I ain't what if, with what it. If, hey, so okay. What if she you make her squirt and she squirt on you now she don't want you? Yeah, I ain't with the squirt. Damn, ain't that I'm dodging that. that. I'm the matrix. I'm all, dodging hey, all, all that. All that's, all that's going past. No, I'm absolutely. The end of the day, you know <laughs> I'm saying? dodging the squirt. So what if she pee on you and say, yeah, you made me squirt. I don't want to fuck with you. I pay extra. Bye. Beat it. Beat it. Was it a bread thing or what What was it? I pay extra for that. Do you? Yeah. What's up with you, dude? You pay extra. I don't even know about you, church. I need to know about you, church. He's a professional trainer. He's a professional trainer. He's a professional trainer. He said, what's up with you, dude? I got to know about you, church. I got to know about you, homie. I got to know, bro. Like, I need a little mini interview, like, of just right. who court is, bro. Court is off the chain. Because you done did some shit, boy. Invite me to the chain. Can I ask you this? Do you believe in the process of of paying a woman and then some people say like they pay the woman and they say I'm not paying her for sex I'm paying her to leave. No, shut the hell. I'm paying for somebody the sex. say that who's a trick. That's no, dumb. This, is, this is transactional. I'm paying for the sex. Okay, pay so you're okay with leave. the trick? Professional trick. The trick right is there. okay. Professional. 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 Yeah, professional. He the trick is okay. What's that hand here? The thing right. is, Absolutely. Yeah. I like that. I he's not going to cause too many problems at all. He really but, was just. But who there. we deal with it? They're not going to want it. They're not going to. No. No. You guys are too much. That's tight. Right. 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 I'm just saying, like for him. At least he understands that. See, yeah. He didn't see he's not the type of trick. It seemed like man, he chasing the bitch down the hallway. But right, hey, right, right, right. Bitch, give me my two forty. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. He likes give what me he the does. service feedback. Two forty. What he does, and well, I'm gonna say this: show you up. just never to know. Show up. No, I'm just saying you never know what the situation may be like. And that's, that's what crazy. Normally, be over motherfucker chasing you down the hallway. Don't be over no thousands. And that's why he's chasing, chasing her because because when she got to the room, she said it's two forty for me to show up, and he got mad. He said two forty. I thought I could fuck. For that. Yeah. Just for the appearance. Yes. No smash. No smash. It's called a drop. The drop. That's yeah. not tight. That's what it's called. It's a drop. It actually and is if you own the company that's getting the drop. No, absolutely. <laughs> it is winning. Hey, that bitch <laughs> is down. The court is not winning. Go on fucking twenty of those daily just to yeah. pick up and, 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 and run it. out. Just, just the drops. Up. Yeah. Just the drops. To and have that experience of like what you not mean? To, not to mention what he has spent it for her to stay. Yeah, cause that that's a deposit. That's up front yeah. before they even pull up. Yeah, well, that, that, that's actually that that that's the company's money. So, yeah, so now she needs to work on it's her the, money. The, listen to me. It's the tricks oh, that kill me. That's like if cold. you're gonna listen, if yeah. you're gonna cold trick, game. if you're gonna trick, yeah. trick. It's the yeah. tricks that kill me that actually thinks you can have a relationship. Yeah, with that yeah. Bitch. Oh no. Like some hoes run off though with a couple renegades I've run off with a couple in tricks. New era, in the, in <laughs> right. this new era, for sure. Right. But for a trick's mind to even wrap himself around. The ideal. The idea of saying, like, oh, I, I want to well, take ask you the out trick. of the day. Let's ask the trick. Yeah, well, sure. Damn, that's mm-hmm. fucked up. Okay, look, I love it. Okay, now look. God. How do you feel? Do you feel like if you paid somebody for something <laughs> she was bad, that you feel like you liked her, that you want to pursue and have a relationship Joshies. with her? Would you separate it and say, this Lit, is just fool. recreational sex? You know what I mean? It depends, because <laughs> if I teach the bitch how to play the piano, that's my bitch, man. We okay. Gotta, we got to we gotta figure something out. Okay. However, if I ain't teaching no transferable skills, right. that's your bitch. Only, the, the only thing you <laughs> taught her is how to accept your money. Only thing you taught her is how to accept your money. Yeah. So once you taught her that, if she continues to accept the money, but she wants to see you and say, you know what, Court, instead of two forty, I'm charging hundred. I'm gonna give y'all dudes some game real quick. You know That's right. I'm gonna give y'all some game for real. If you really look at when you meet a when you meet a hoe or something, you feel like it's obviously y'all, y'all regular dudes, like y'all just some civilians when it comes to that. Civilians when it comes to meeting chicks and just like, hey, I'm just on some cool shit with you. Like, I had up? that bitch dancing outside for free just a second ago. When you really, when you, you really look at the situation, homie, like if you listen, let me have that. If you pay that chick, bro. <laughs> 
if you pay that chick, you've automatically put yourself over in the trick zone. Oh, yeah. A real one's going to make trick like no, that. Course, you can't sit there and pay. Not, not saying right, these yeah. tricks make the world go round. They do. So I, I appreciate you. I do. I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. <laughs> he done put an emerald or something through this motherfucker at some point in time. Yeah, facts. So I got nothing but love. My I emerald. I, I appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, emerald too. So <laughs> I got love for you. No, for real here. Look at Oh, this is been great. Look, look. Mike get a Christmas present. Yeah, I got love for him, man. I ain't got nothing against him. That shit costs a Honda Accord. Look at this shit. Tricks make the world go round. But in all... Like in all in all, if you're gonna That's sit there crazy. and you're gonna pay a chick, yeah. homie, and you're gonna actually don't touch the diamond, give her homie. some bread. I'll yeah. pay for these. How could you <laughs> ever expect her to take you serious? Because in the end, she's gonna know that if you've done this once, you've done it before. Right, and right. if you I do get with you, you're that possibly gonna to do it, it again. Right, mm-hmm. right. And then and then we gotta think about like the process of someone like if you had a female, right, and she was paying an individual, right? Mm. But she was getting the money from you, but she ran off with you because you told her, Look, I got five hundred grand for you in the bank, I got five million set up, you don't have to be with him anymore. You know what I mean? Let me save you, have you to be baby. With him. You know what I mean? Straight up. And it's interesting because the, the few captain. women that I've seen in, in in not personally anybody, you know, but I've seen some things where I was like, wow, she actually ran. I'm just saying. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Using it. I mean, <laughs> he's saying that, but you never see, know. You know, you a, never Adam know. Has, has a different level of, of vagina that he's involved with, but maybe he could have been a trick prior to that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And maybe he would have paid for it if he didn't slide oh, into a situation where he's being able to oh, knock I things like down on day. See, I come from a long, long line of, of tricks. tricks. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, about. I'm like, he fifth. been trick, trick, granddaddy trick, was trick, tricking. Been tricking. Fifth generation oh, tricking. Gran- granddaddy there. was tricking. <laughs> right. Granddaddy's granddaddy was tricking. Fifth generation. Or, or, hey, do, I, can I ask you? Course. Are you related to? Are you related to anybody named Hundred Dollar Larry? <laughs> you have any relatives? Maybe. Did you come from like a fight? Yeah, because yeah. you just never know. Yeah, you nah, never but know. back in uh, nineteen, what was it, seventeen or something like that? Yeah, Bye, Josh. the great Nathaniel Trick is actually my great 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 grandfather, who they named Tricking after. That <laughs> part. So, so you definitely so the term Tricking ain't Tricking if you got it doesn't even apply to you. It's nah. just in your blood. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He's That's a trick it. by blood, not relay show. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. That shit's too crazy. Great. That's great Sydney, content. I like that. We walked into a very peculiar scenario, my dear. <laughs> we going to see how you leave this situation as but well. But it's definitely, def- let me ask y'all, would, do y'all prefer the trashy woman or the classy woman? Trashy. I like classy. I need a classy one. I do too. You yeah, know why? I'm gonna need classy. Because you know what, I'm church, you know, it might it. take a little couple things to get her for real. You know, I like that. <laughs> a bitch that just like gives it up. Just, I, I like a bitch that play hard to get. Own uh, things I like, I like a bitch that play hard to well, get her. Let me say bit. this. No. I like I like classy women. Like for long term. For short term, I like trashy women because of the ease of you okay. know the interaction. Ease of use? Because you know she's not gonna say, Hey, do you have a condom? Yes. You know what I mean? That's off what top. I'm saying. He's off yes. top. Wow. This nigga know it, man. Right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Raw is the law. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, shit. Not this again. Whoa. Internet. I got another one next door, fellas. I like that, but uh, I'm I like y'all it. Fuck with y'all in a second. Yep. You out? Okay. okay. It was a pleasure, yeah, sir. All right. Just just I enjoy myself, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We enjoyed you. Look, I like that. He gave the. No, I don't know. Yeah, that's I like that dry humor, though. I like that. Hey, Trick's got a game yes. too. For what he does. Yeah. <laughs> Get I'll out of here. Come, come hey, on, man. That's tight. You next though? Right, you next though? Right. I'll be over there. He got the ism. I got the trism. That's I like that. The over there. I, you know, I like because you own your shit. That's what I like. Because, you know, yeah. we laugh and all that. But people who don't own it, I had a comedian tell me, he said, Trey, I'm not paying for the sexual fair. I'm paying for her to leave. And I thought that was interesting. You know I mean, that's like, cute and shit. And what I don't like is the term, bro, tricking ain't tricking if you got me. The first word is tricking. So Period. you know, tricking is tricking. If you're tricking, if you're paying for a sexual fantasy for something, you're putting yourself in a position to be used and you're thinking with your dick. You know what I mean? And that's tricking. Now, if you're a gentleman, you have a woman, you're paying for her nails and hair, that's your woman. That's okay. And it's okay to be a gentleman. You know what I mean? But tricking comes to a point where a woman calls you up and she don't give a damn about you and says, look, I need this. Yeah, you ain't getting shit. You ain't getting, and I need this money. Or <laughs> You just getting the drop. Right. Or I'm going to make you think you're going to get something just so I can get the money. That's you know what I mean? Crazy. So. What I like it if you have responsible tricking, which is good, yeah. that you ain't letting them trick you out of your house at oh, home or your no. position. That part. <laughs> of course, they ain't getting tricked all the way out. Just a little bit of tricking. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's just a little, a little bit of tricking. Right. Trick seat, though. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So yeah, let's get into this next topic though. Uh, so Young Thug, they saying he added Gunner's music back in his bio. I don't uh-huh, know if uh-huh. it's been if it's been there or if he just added in. But everybody has been just going around uh, social media that he just. Can we, click, can we click on his bio? Oh, that's very Yeah, and it's unique. the Drip Season 4 album, you know what I'm saying? You want to know say? what? What's that say? My bad, forgive me. 
Can't see it. What does that say right there? Oh, oh that's just a link his, to Gunner's album. Bio. Okay, okay. Nah, but I think you got to remember, like, for one, Young Thug doesn't necessarily run his Instagram page. That part. Adam don't run the No Jumper page. How could Young Thug run it right now? Well, not only, right, I mean, he right, could be right. on the phone okay, like, hey, Michelle. post this. But uh, with that being said, he's also operating a full-on business, and I'm absolutely, yeah. positively sure Young Thug owns that record that's being promoted right. on his shit. So why would he fuck off his bread that he invested X amount yeah. of dollars into yeah. over... Do, do, do y'all consider what Gunner did uh, snitching? Uh, he definitely went against the grain. That part right there. I Absolutely, agree. positively. Yeah. Well, 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 the biggest thing, and I was having a conversation, me and Big U was talking about this the other day and a couple other people, but just... You know, I, I look at things and say, you know, for one, you know better. For for one, if we're all ass right now, and if I'm here and the feds came in, it's no jumper a gang. Hell no, it's a business. So this is a, a podcast company. This is a media company. So if you ask me, is is YSL a gang? Hell no. It's, it's a, a label. label. So that's my point is whoever versed or set Gunner up to say that, or, or why would he say that? You know what I mean? So without Fail. knowing everything, it's just interesting to say, well, if that's the thing they was holding on to, to say, well, right right when he said it, Gunner said it's a gang, so it's a gang. How can two, even though he said that, how can that be Gunner's word against everybody? It's a gang. This is a label, and we have an LLC. We have a company, and we have artists signed to us. That's what I would have, you know what I mean? Straight up. That's how I see it. I I'm see sure him as a that's gang. the basic argument, but they're definitely trying to turn it into some other shit. But the fact that Gunner said that in the statement that he oh, publicly he had to say up. that, you know what I mean? That's interesting. Was crazy. So, do y'all think Thug is fucking with Gunner? Uh, no, probably okay. not. I, I, I mean, we don't know. Okay. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah. I would assume no. Now, now, was them boys really passing ecstasy or pills, uh, uh Molly perks? And shit? perks? Yeah. Was they really doing it? I mean, that's the, that's, that's what, um, uh, it, it happened in court, and then, yeah, it's uh, it's official that it actually. But happened. just wide open like that, I saw a clip. One of the attorneys. <laughs> Ain't nobody got, slick. One of the attorneys recently just got arrested because he walked inside the courtroom with his prescription drug. So I don't know. Oh, like, wow. it's a Did lot they of, ever say what he had, or they just? Say I don't know what dr type of drug it was. That's a hell of a drug, boy. I don't think they could release that information anyway. But it was mm. his prescription. But uh. As far as when it comes to Gunner, yeah, uh, I believe that is, you know what I'm saying? You went against the grain. Everyone been, you had Kevin Lyles come to the courtroom and say that YSL is a uh, is a label, and then you went and said it's a gang. So, right. like, that's there, if you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The proof yeah. is in the pudding right there. But yeah. it's, it's just a little funny if Young Thug did put that in his bio because it's like, all right, so now you're promoting this guy, even though it is your artist or whatever. Right. And how does that, how do y'all feel about that? Like, can y'all still support Gunner, even if? Thug supporting him? Like, how do you feel? Well, me personally, I, I wasn't a a, a, a thug uh, big, I wasn't a fan. I like good music, so if I hear a song, I like it. But certain, the fashion or the the, <laughs> the certain behavior at times would throw me off as, yeah, as like a heterosexual man. That. Things would throw me <laughs> off like that, so I would be a little confused on that. So it didn't make me Wayne. When I saw Wayne kiss baby, my mother saw it. And my mother was like, wait, what? The? And that threw me off. So Wayne is talented, dope. Talented, but it made me look at them differently. It made me kind of look at people like somebody maybe been pedophile and they're touching or doing things. But to answer the question is to go back is that um, I think that 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 for Gunner and Thug, I think that I think Thug may be on a different level of business if he did do that. And he's like, man, let me go and get the money. I got shit going. It's costing me a million dollars every whatever couple months. Let me go ahead and do what it's going to do anyway. Yeah, Streets yeah. is dead. I, I, you know I, what I mean? I can feel that. I can feel that. Possibly, you know? So, you know, that that's that's weird. And, and it's bad because for Gunner, you don't know, like, what Gunner is, you know, what he got to go through. You know what I mean? Then you look at people, too, if you look at the Takashi 6 9 thing. Who all thought Takashi was a gangster when you first saw him? Who? Anybody in the room? Absolutely not. But, of course not. And then if you see the old school photos of him and his little Cardi. Now, don't get me wrong. There's kids out here of course. that look super Man, square that'll, with that'll the extent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, straight up. But, I mean... um, but it, it just was just... He did was, end up doing some gangster-ass shit. I mean, I, he yeah, ended I, up doing some crazy shit, I never right? thought Takashi was gangster, but as a New Yorker, I know this. He was with the right niggas. Was he? He was See, with the right niggas. because for us out here, we looked at them as not the right niggas. For one, y'all, at the time, it's like, okay, y'all want to be blood. This is where the Crippin' Blood is. I so understand That was that. one strike. But now past that point, people doing what they doing. The second part is, if us right now are in here, and we're about to sign an artist, and it's a guy, and he walks in look, looking like... Our young lady right here working with us. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have a problem with that if that's not the brand that I'm pushing. Now, if I'm pushing, you know, a, a, a trans or a, a different kind of brand, then I'm yeah, gonna be cool with that. Six nine so, trans. So right. So to me, for them to be official, they should have cleaned them up and said, "Yo, the blonde, the, the, the rainbow hair, that's not 
can do. That's not representing us. The, 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 the homosexual behavior isn't representing us, not less we're a homosexual gang. So I felt like it made them look kind of soft, but you know better than us because I don't know. You know what I mean? So yeah. if you know they was the right dudes and they was doing what they was doing, I'm going to take your word what for it. What I mean it. by the right dudes, he was with the niggas that are do what they say they're going right, to do. Right, that part. And niggas know them for doing that. Right. So nobody was going to touch him while he's with them mm. except for them. Besides the ops. No, not even oh. the ops. Oh, really? The ops respect them niggas too. Yeah, I found New York different like that to where it's interesting where you got the ops. That per, it, it's different. You know, out here it's different to yeah. where you'll have rider respect, but motherfuckers don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? You could be the top dog over here in this neighborhood, and this dude's 15, and he going to get some stripes up off you. Facts. Facts. Nah, niggas, I'm saying there was niggas that would do it to him. Right, right. But, but just overall, it was more They'll more think a, twice because of who he's with. Okay. So he was with the right niggas, but he wasn't the right nigga to be right. with them. Okay. And that's how that happened. Okay. Because I, cause I was confused. I was like, why would they co-sign that? It made me look at them like, what I the mean, hell? them co-signing it, if you want to keep it all the way the 100, brand? it it worked. It did. Look at it. Like, look at 6 9 he was one of those people where he was smart. He knew if he put himself in that environment around a whole bunch of street niggas, yeah. the aura of him being a real nigga yeah. would portray, and it worked. So I get it on his end. At one point, on his end, it worked. And on this end, it did work. But I think the greed, and over time... Just street niggas, okay. you know how it is. Just over time, they just fucked it up for themselves. But it worked. Well, question, would you feel comfortable if you had an artist and he came on and then he started behavior, doing sexual behavior that made it look like that he wasn't, it didn't represent us. Would you feel comfortable and be like, yo, he look a little gay and whoever's gay, do your thing. But if our brand isn't that, would you feel comfortable and be like, oh, he doing some gay shit or would you correct him? Like, hey, bro, don't wear that bra out I there think, at that show. You I think I mean? they seen what he was doing from the beginning. When they first signed him, he already had colorful hair. So there was like, it shouldn't have been any type of like, whoa, what is he doing? When y'all first got with bro, he had colorful but, hair. But why not be a big homie and say, yo, that's not going to work. If you're going to ride with us with the trays, the bread. What, what it is, if you're going to ride, but still, it's more, hey, bro, clean that up though. Dye your hair, that, that represents this because how, we, we dress how we feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we express ourselves to a degree. So if he's expressing himself with certain, you know, clothing, that says something else about somebody. What does the rainbow represent these days? He knows that. They stole that from the Hawaii flag. And it's sad that you can steal a whole rainbow and make it your shit. You know what I'm saying? But he knew what that represented. So <laughs> I think it's deeper than just, oh, he was a rapper trying to get attention. I don't think so. I think he was repping what he was look like he was rapping. I don't know. You know I don't mean? even to be one hundred. I don't even think it's that deep. I think six nine just a marketing genius. He just knew like think about it. This nigga got six nine tatted on himself. How many times like he was just doing mad shit to get attention anyway. So like but you don't think nothing about him could be low key homosexual. You don't think any of the <laughs> I don't look into him exhibited. that much. But it, I mean, if you look at him for first hand, you'll see the hair and you'll be like, oh yeah. But if you just not looking past that, he he busted down some of the bad joints and shit. Besides all the yeah, rat shit, like you know what I'm saying? Like he had some a of the lot bad, of gay fools have taken down joints. some bad bitches. Facts. I can't vouch for him. I don't know yeah, the nigga yeah, or not. Yeah. But what I'm just saying though, I think Treyway or whatever the fuck they knew what it was when they got with him. Like he had yeah. he had colorful yeah. hair from the beginning. So when they got with this nigga, they knew what they me, was doing and it kind of worked. But then it backfired on them. Me, me personal, if your ass is hanging out your jeans, you got these tight ass jeans on. I'm gonna tell you, pull up your pants if you're around me. I'm older, so I'm gonna tell you, yo, that's not that's not representing us right. That ain't I it can't right wait there. To get yeah, I'm not I'm not vouching for it, but I'm. I'm just saying, though, know, I'm, I'm, I'm holding so them accountable, accountable so, so yeah. that they knew what was going on when they got with them. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. I, 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 think, think, I don't think he had black hair when they signed him, or not even signed him, but when they started rocking with him, I think he already had colorful hair, yeah. so they knew what was going on. It was the movements. Like, like if, like, you know, for me to sit with my mother and to see Wayne first kiss baby, my mother's face already, a black woman, was, like, distraught. She was like, and what the I heck? I felt the way. This is back in the day, too. I was like, yo. And, and, and the context, not to get on them, but the context was... You know, Free and AJ saying, how do you kiss a girl? And Baby was like, had all these carrots. I got a hundred carrots in my mouth. He was flossing his teeth. He had a lot of money in his mouth. He said, I don't kiss. I don't kiss. I don't kiss nobody. And Wayne jumps up. Only person he kisses is me. So, and not yeah, knocking nobody for what their choices are, because I feel like that was them coming out. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of us are in denial at times because we're fans of music and people. And I'm not knocking nobody for the, whatever your, your desire is, but let's call a spade a spade. At times, like, we want to talk things out of things at times. Like, oh, no, he's wearing a tutu with rainbow hair, but he's not gay. He's just marketing. Mm -hmm. And I know what you're saying by that, the six nines and all that, but yeah. I think there is truth to certain things with the, you know, with how you look. Because you got to express yourself how you look. Mm -hmm. Are you going to wear a rainbow wig to that lace front? Fuck no. 
I don't see you doing that. I don't see me doing at that all. Either. I don't see nobody doing it up in here. But and not knocking it, but I think that there is truth, you know, yeah. to that shit. <laughs> I see her doing it, but nobody. I don't else. even see her doing it. I don't even see. Yeah. I'm, I, I, <laughs> Damn. So y'all seen what happened with uh uh FVG Duck Mom? How she addressed uh Brick Baby? I didn't see how she That's addressed him. That's crazy. Them. Yeah, that was crazy. Spitting that song. Is she lighting a blunt? Oh. She's lighting a brick baby. Uh, apparently, uh. that's what she said in the video. And, and, and what's her issue with him? What, 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 did, what did bro say to her? Uh, about she got her OnlyFans. Oh, that's her. And she said she made some money the first night, like fifteen or thirty thousand or something. Yeah, that's, oh, crazy. Crazy. that's what's up. Shout out to Mama Duck and Shout brick out baby. To Mom. What is I she doing on the OnlyFans? Oh, I haven't tuned into her OnlyFans, but I heard. <laughs> Are you I, tuning? Nah, I ain't you tuned did. Into her you did. Fans. Nah. Flacco no, seen no. it though. Flacco said he seen it, so you gotta hit up Flacco for the review. Okay. But all uh, right. Sure. So basically, what's going on here is I think Brit Baby was on Cam Capone, and he had some words about how Mama Duck be moving. Like a lot of people are like they they critique her a lot because they feel like she shouldn't be expressive, like so expressive on the internet about the way she is and about the things that's going on with her son. Like she's very opinionated. Right. And a lot of people don't be feeling that. They be like, nah, get off the internet with that shit. And Brit Baby, I think he said something about it. And right. she clapped back and said that she's smoking on Brick Baby Pack or whatever. <laughs> to me, to me at that page, at, at that page, if I'm bro, I, that's something you kind of laugh. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm not about to get into it. Nobody mama to it. Like you know, you kind of laugh almost. Like if that's what you're smoking on, right? We keep smoking on it then. You yeah. know what I mean? If that's the case, you know, in my opinion, you know, what's y'all thoughts on that one? Uh. I think she don't need the OnlyFans. I think she's too old for that shit. How? If she getting bread, let her get that bread. In. Yeah. What's she doing on OnlyFans? Maybe she just doing shout, this. Shout out to Mama Duck. She getting, getting bread. She getting her money. She be on streams too. You can catch her on her YouTube. She be, I think, like Mama Duck. Of course, you gotta YouTube. let her get that money. If who, if somebody's gonna pay her, and that's is that your style? Would you? Nah. Okay, exactly. So with that being said, that's a mama style. You know what I mean? That's, that's somebody's that's style. Clearly, she look like auntie or moms. Somebody likes that look. That wants to pay for that. Who are we to stop her her bread? Fuck it. You I mean, I mean, a lot of people just say after, because you know, her son is a famous rapper that passed away. So a lot of people critique her because of that. It's like Duck wouldn't approve of this or whatever. Exactly. So it's that thought, it's that part oh, of it too. I got you. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You have a brand to uphold. It's a lot of people, but I don't think she's doing anything okay. too crazy on there. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's I just, just she getting her money and stuff. But a lot of people, optics. and nobody right. can tell her how to feel. This is how she feels. Right. And I feel like she should be able to express herself. Brick Baby said what he said. She said what she said. Right. It is what it is. True. I saw this story right here, too. My bad. What'd you say, bro? No, I just said true. Yeah. I saw this story, and I actually read about this, is the conjoined twins this who has a crazy. boyfriend, but they're not having sex. But he wants to marry her. They're not having sex. Because you got they share a vagina. They I share organs. They have one leg apiece, one arm. So they both they share can everything. feel it. But exactly, it's uh -huh. one vagina, so that's oh, hard to be. nigga. Yeah, yeah but what's the difference between yeah. smashing her and marrying her? He's going to do... You know I mean? well, 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 they may not right now. It's a friendship, so if he marries, I don't know if the sister's gonna say, "Yo, I want his penis in our vagina." That's a cold. That's a cold twin right there. Yes, yeah. a tricky Imagine situation. Imagine you sharing a dick again. with your twin brother. That's fucked up, homie. That's bad. Sheesh, what I do smoke. know is, if I'm sharing a dick with my twin brother, <laughs> you better not ever jerk off. Let's agree to not jerk off. Well, well, well see, with you, you're the bareback, and crazy. your and your brother will wear condoms. Look, his brother will wear condoms, and he's gonna bareback. So he, his brother, like, I'm tired of getting STDs, man. It's your fault. <laughs> that is so <laughs> crazy what you yeah. just said, Courtney. That shit blew my yeah. mind. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Don't jerk us off. Yeah, that's yeah, that's gay. It's that's gay at that that's point. Crazy. <laughs> it's gay at that point. <laughs> with your brother, you sharing the dick. Only thing we can do is piss. It need to make you mad like, hey, I got to piss, man. Fuck going to piss. I'm tired. Now, you need the other leg to get up, so you got to get up. <laughs> and the other motherfucker like this, you got to pull up. <laughs> that shit wild. But you know, shout out to, 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 aye, to, aye, to, to the aye, young lady deep, huh? who's able to, you know, and, and now is he a freak because yeah, he likes that yeah, or is it about the intellect? In face. That or, nigga a freak. <laughs> or, or is it about the intellect? If this fool that found these freak. ladies on Love is Blind and he fell in love with one of them sight unseen, then right. maybe. My boy right. said he got two for one, double head. But that's crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. No, he that's crazy. crazy. Wow. He took the regular know. looking one and said, I'm not your boyfriend, I'm your boyfriend. Wow. Why you don't just date both of them? The other bitch is right there. She's right just there. Damn there he damn near dating She got to put a black hoodie on and just cover up her face. Yo, see, yeah. how, how would you feel if uh, the dude Put her said, blinders on? Literally put a sheet you. up, a curtain. Yeah. Your sister right there. He <laughs> There's said, no partition for that. <laughs> yeah. And she, yeah. she filed as hell for taking it, right? Like, so, yeah, so, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. 
So they have breasts too. So one has a breast, one has an arm and his leg. It's interesting, boy. That, that's interesting. That they, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, shout out to them that they're happy and they're smiling, bro. Yeah, Straight real. up. You know what I yeah. mean? So whatever makes them happy and All it's making them happy, I support it. If they found a guy, you know, or he found them, it is what it is. Now, what happens when they want to both get married and both men want to have sex? Ooh. At the same time. Oh, oh, that ain't going to work. It's a tricky scenario. That's, that's, that's why I said take thing. both. Don't Ooh. leave that option open. Well, well not, not unless they got with another conjoined couple that shared, brothers that shared the penis. Shh. Now, that might work. That's the only way. You know what I mean? That might work. Look, you fuck from six to eight. We get 12 to, to four. You want to know, know what? what? It's he is not finessing this scenario well, I don't think, because he yeah. should have just sealed that deal already. I would have pimped the other one. They <laughs> might as well start our OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, I would not pay for that. <laughs> You're I not would. I would, nigga. Like, but you wouldn't pay for the home for the homie mama either. So somebody, there's a crowd for everything. Yeah, you know what I mean, it I really is. My mind, I would pay for some mom. Of course, definitely mine. Right, <laughs> right, right. Look, <laughs> okay, oh. look. If she looked like that, huh? It's on. Ice Spice fan invites her. Ice Spice. Ice Spice fan invites her to his graduation by renting a billboard. And she not that coming. part. And he's, that's that's dope. Ice Spice, I'm feeling you. Love Munchie. And he's in high school. Yeah, I think he's um, a player. Yeah, that was hard. Whatever his family is, he's a player. She gotta go now. She's a player. He's a player for yeah, that. Ice Spice, Let's he put the pressure on. You gotta go to the. Okay. Oh, they had so Excuse they in Atlanta. <clears throat> wait, wait. Which, which college is on Tenth, right there off of Peachtree? Is that Georgia State or is that a? Uh, I have no what idea. What is that? It's a college right there. When I'm in the A, it's right there, right across the freeway by Checkers and shit on Tenth, I think. Off a of peach tree. I am yeah, in uh, Atlanta since I was seven years old. I, I read something else about uh, Ice through. Spice the other day too, and they were saying they was trying to air out her dirty laundry, saying that she swallowed Drake's kids and did this and did that. And before that was her business, but before when she came out, it looked good when she was like, you know, that she didn't want to let Drake hit and he unfollowed or whatever. So it made her look like she ain't just for the okie doke. So whoever put her laundry out there, we don't know if that's true or not. That's her business. I was gonna say, is that Drake true? Refollowed her now though. I yeah, think, probably. I, I think mission complete. Okay. Speaking of Ice Spice dirty laundry, I would love to smell her dirty laundry. Would Damn. you? Would you? Yeah. The Deviant. dirty panties, all that. Deviant. I heard that. Dirty panties. Yeah. I feel it. Pussy residue. You, crazy. you like them little dogs? You know when the dogs come in, they only steal dirty panties. Yeah. They don't <laughs> like the clean ones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's me. Yeah. What I Bronze? do is, I, yeah, I do, no, no, I, titty residue is worthless in this market. Okay. <laughs> in this market, okay. <laughs> of course, you're but, an interesting um, character. <laughs> pussy residue, like, let's say you take the retail price of the panties and then you add a 20% appreciation for every six hours that she wears the said okay. panties, right? Okay. That's a low number, I think. 20% appreciation is pretty fine, I would say. <laughs> this is it's pretty fine. For, for, you got to like, have an initial markup for the individual that's rocking them before they get sold. Like, if the status is high, like... Negotiate that in your contract. My <laughs> offer right. is 20% for every six hours they're worn. Yeah. Now, if you wear them all day and then you sleep in them, hello. What? I got a sensitive nose, man. If something ain't right, I'm through with her. If the for pH real. is off, I'm tripping. See, I pay extra for the off pH. Wow, I love it. Not not, not the trout smelling one, but just no, a little no, no. off. Yeah, not trout. Personality. Okay, okay. I like I when chicks you. smell like personality. Okay. Not I respect fish. that. I like that. I, I do prefer the rose smell or, or, or the Baccarat smell or Baccarat. something like that. Yeah, You're Baccarat fucking crazy. Little, amazing perfume. <laughs> nah, I like that, uh, mine's from the Lord himself. Wear, you know. <laughs> uh, you're right. You a cold one. Yeah, yeah I'm big on that. I, I, I prefer to, if a woman's even outside and, and starts to perspire, as soon as you get in the house, get in that shower. Well, you dead ass? I thought you was going to go the opposite nah, way. No, no, no. I'm going to need if that If a shower. chick is outside and she perspire, yeah. come touching inside, on no sticky bitch, huh? perspire <laughs> some more, and then let me smell it. I feel it. Yeah. Only perspiring I want is when we're in the in the act together. You know what I'm saying? In the sexual act together, then you can perspire all you want to. But you already smelly and just came from the gym? Nah, I don't want that. Nah, I, like I, I want that fresh out I the like shower. I like athletic bitches. Like, I love athletic women, but I want them out fresh out the shower. You want them fresh after the track meet. Yeah. All right, okay, all right, all right, all right. Not fully dirty, just like right. medium dirty. Like you know, a little tart. Not he said sour, medium but a tart. dirty. Yeah, you know, a a steak be medium rare. <laughs> a little tidden art. Dang, you guys are crazy. Okay, look. Yeah, just personality. You have personality. Don't right. taste like the pussy I had yesterday. Right, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I like I consistency. That, that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Delivery, not DiGiorno. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Real talk. Golly. Oh, that's prize, lit. That's oh, that, he, he found Prize guilty on all oh, 10 counts. Son Did he really get a hundred million? Spy. Did he really get a hundred million? I have no idea. I'm not sure if he got a hundred million, but they were saying that he was an informant. Yeah, they said a hundred million from the Chinese. That's hard. Boy, that just that's a real refugee, boy. Buffalo <laughs> <laughs> soldier, dread lock right, man. That's what's up, man. You wouldn't expect that from Pro. I'm gonna have to go At back all. and play all his bars to see if he ever dropped right. any hints. Pro, I Pro's refugee like Cassius Clay. What'd he say? Something like, you know, he, he runs around with the DEA. Was that in there? I don't know. I don't know. It sounds good. He though. Like he's dropping hints the whole time. <laughs> right, right, right. You don't. You don't only need to get in this whole building at no prize lines. I'm gonna You're tell right. You that. Yeah, I, I only know a couple, but I know more of uh, of of sissies, Lauren Hill. Lawrence. But the thing is, bro, this lets you know that you never know what anybody's doing. Who would ever think that prize a ghetto superstar was an international <laughs> espionage spy? That's what I just said yesterday. Six the nine might was, be a spy. Nah. For the Russians. Oh, shit. That was what? Crazy. Did you say 6 ix 9 is a spy for the Russians? He might be. I don't know. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying, wasn't he in Russia getting love and saying he liked Russia better than America and this, that, and the third? And Putin was you say 6 was nine rocking. Russia? No, he said, oh, I don't know. I know yeah. how to say privyet. Cocktail like mean? dingy. Dingy's money. Privyet is, hey, what's up? Cocktail, how you doing? How to show? I don't know a couple this nigga's a pimp in 12 languages. <laughs> Man, that's hard. Mackin. But it's a trip with pros, bro. You would never just think that. So you just, that lets us know we never know what anybody's doing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Nah, and, you know, anything's possible. Like, damn. Why he's snitching? He's still getting charged. You, you ain't snitching up, buddy. Yeah, he, you he's probably in a different better. pay grade of snitching. He's a hundred know. million and the espionage is a different level of the game. You know what I mean? Ooh. This nigga was 007 the whole time. Oh, this fool crazy. 1090 yeah. Jake talks to one of the fools that beat up a uh, 69 allegedly. I don't I don't I, I don't remember that hair. And to keep it real with y'all, I, I think the whole thing was a farce and a hoax. Because a have, pack ha out? have you ever whooped somebody? First thing that get busted is what? Your face. The eyes and the lip. Oh, I look I do I make movies, we're on TV. That look like makeup. I don't see nobody taking their shoes off to stump somebody. That stomp looked he, pretty severe. Yeah, I, I don't believe it, man. They had on Crocs. Like, that was followed through. At, like, at first, it was, it. a lot of people was under the assumption that it could have been a hoax and it was all staged and stuff. But I when you look at is. it, what did he gain from it? Like, I mean, he What did he gain? Uh, he gained all these new interviews. He gained us talking about it right Six, now. 6ix9ine or the people? 6ix9ine. Oh, yeah. He yeah, definitely so, won so that. So he definitely gained. And now he's, he's looked at as a victim. I think that that's going to bring him more work and more money. From people, victims against, you know, such and such against violent crimes. I think it was <laughs> fake, personally. I don't me. know. I think I don't think it was fake. I watched the video yeah. a couple of times, and, like, the dudes who did it, they seemed like they serious pretty dudes and shit. Interesting. And then uh, if you watch the video, he was getting stomped out. I don't think he just taking no rib shots like that. Just You know what why, I'm saying? Like, why ain't no black eyes crazy. and no busted lips? Why is it only this area around the nose? How does somebody get whooped and not have a black eye or a busted lip? I'm confused. Did I've he have seen a, black a lot of people get not? whooped. No, I don't he think didn't. he had a crazy had black eye, but he his face was a little roughed up a little bit. And see, but just doing the movies, bro, I see people and I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I've done some things where I've seen people's makeup look really good. So, in my opinion, I feel you, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't yeah. think he got whooped. I think it was a setup, me personally. But anyway, so this guy is one of the ones who whooped him. All mm -hmm. right, so he's saying he's not one of the ones who whooped him. <laughs> yeah, That's what I don't he's in bangs. Look at that hair. Nah, my he boy look, just don't nah, want to get He looked like the dude who. Oh, probably because. Jake uploaded it to his YouTube, maybe. I don't know. Uh, nah, it worked on the IG, I'm pretty sure. No, nah, a lot of, a large majority of the videos we've been trying to play on IG today haven't had sound. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 was that Eddie Murphy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, finally, yeah you finally old enough to know what's going on. That was funny. Yeah, thank you, man. That was funny. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, that's interesting, man. I don't, All I don't right, know, so man. if you couldn't hear what he was saying, basically he was saying that he's not the guy that uh opened the door because uh, he was getting uh, accused of being the guy that let the other two guys in the attack six nine. But he's saying that that's not him. But then midstream, one of the people that's actually accused or who was charged with it, he hops on stream. So I was like, all right. So if that wasn't you, then why are you in cahoots with the people who actually did it? Facts. You yeah. hopped on stream with the nigga. So like, you kind of just burn. giving away yourself. That's yeah. why I get taken from it. Because like, yeah. you ended up putting a guy on stream with you. So I was like, I don't why, know. Just... Why are they even getting on stream? Like, 
I thought y'all did this for y'all. Did y'all do this for some fame? Court, like, them dudes is too big for 6 9 to be to walk away like that. I've never seen three dudes pack out a dude, and he just, and you got all that time, and he ain't whooped. I've grown up in areas, you know, in South Central where I've seen people get whooped, and homies grab their legs, somebody grab their arms, mm -hmm. and you go into town, they getting whooped. Face fucked up. Out there. They're not walking easily like that with these little shorts on. <laughs> I, saw, I just think it was stage, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, and like you said, why would dude get on the damn, you know what I mean, the, the thing? Maybe he was cloud chasing and it's backfiring. I can see him getting on there to clear his name. Maybe he getting, maybe Wolfie ain't well, the that's guy. Smart. You know, right. Wolfie ain't the guy and he's getting, everyone's attacking him, saying that he's the guy to open the door. And that he's part. like, nigga, I ain't do nothing. That part. So I can see him want to clear his name. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Because even if 6 9 did, all right, say if this is stage, right? I don't think nobody's still just checking for 6 9 music. You know what I'm saying? They're so, like, not. hey, you got beat up. You did all that for nothing. Like, what you going to do? Well, did, did they have any personal things with him, or was it just based on the status that in the media he's a snitch? So, what they're saying is he threw up some gang signs and they wasn't happy with what he threw up. He was repping some shit that he shouldn't be repping. If you know, okay. you know. Like, if you tap in, you can really just check are, it out. Are, are, they, say are they Latin? Are they Puerto Rican or something, or Cuban or Colombian? I think they Latin. Okay. They look like something like something that. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Where did this happen at? In Florida. In Miami. Okay. Maybe Cuban. And why would 6 9 be by himself? With no security. I don't believe that. Sweet. Strange he as hell. I don't believe sweet. that. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Nah. That's one hell of a plan, though. That's like one crazy right, scheme. Yeah, it is. All right, so like to go get beat up smart. at the gym, I think is smart. Kind of crazy. How much you think it costs for 6 9 to walk out with security every time he goes somewhere? Maybe like 10K? Maybe. It, 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 maybe. it, it right, just so, depends. So every time you're trying to go to the gym or you go to McDonald's or you go somewhere, you go try to smash a chick or something, you finna pay 10K? Well, it should be the, it should be that daily or weekly rate anyway. At his point, he should be paying monthly. Like when 50 had his super security, I'm sure there was a, there's not a daily or every time. But you, you said 50 out. cent? Remember 50 got the fly security. But 6 got 9 the, and 50 the, career just kind of like not totally even. Totally different. And totally then with different. the, I mean, at 6 9 at one point, he was at the height of maybe like 50 cents or whatever, like not on no gangster shit, but just like he was there, like with the excitement behind his name. They're but right now, I don't think. Another bathroom, bro. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> he said, I don't like. But yeah, right now, I don't think that, uh, I don't know. Maybe 6 9 can get it back cracking. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. I I, I, I never was a fan, so I never was into it, but I definitely saw the saw the business as point. I don't think, he, I don't think, I don't think he going to be able to, but hey, right. he, he keep attempting. So. What, what, did, did you like the music? Would, would it get playing your ride? No, nah, I'm not jacking. After, before he snitched, yeah. I could fuck with him, but like him after he snitched, and I can't so take him serious. So you would play some of the music before? The old shit, yeah, yeah, yeah like okay. if this shit was hot, yeah, I was okay. fucking with it. Okay. When six nine came, when like before, before he snitched and shit, six nine had like one of the hottest little movements going on. Yeah, like the youth, everybody was fucking with him. Like you can't say everybody wasn't tapped in. This yeah. nigga had Jay, Jay Prince and them going to the shows, trying to, you know what I'm saying? Come on, yeah. everybody was paying attention. He going yeah. at it with Chief Keith. He got yeah. the hottest Breakfast Club interview. That so shit like, definitely didn't get no play in my car. Even yeah. I'm not saying play in my car, but like if it came I on, mean, I'm, not just, like, know, just, you know, I'm not just like just. I'm not good cutting flicky, it off. You know what I'm saying? Up. Like I'm not just riding around the six nine, but I'm just saying like yeah. it yeah. wasn't a thing where like a six nine cut on. You ain't yeah. finna just like automatically just like cut it off. I just thought it was now you ain't put jacking on. it. You know what I mean? Like and obviously all, a lot of artists could be put on and have a persona, but I just thought it was just so put on. But like you said. Man, the success of it, it was on. You know what I mean? It was a lot on of that point. shit put on though. A lot of the yeah. what, a lot of the, all right. Yeah. So you gotta look at it like this. So you got the street rappers that's really doing this shit, and then you got a whole bunch of rappers like, look, we looking at Playboy Cardi right now. Yeah. He fall in the same lane as a six nine to me without snitching. Oh really? I mean, is he somebody that's really just like living that street life and like he's? Rapping? I don't know that much about him. You I, know mean, I mean, if you yeah, I don't if know, you know shit about, about this dude. no Playboy Cardi. I mean, he associated with some people that from? do some shit. He's from uh, he from Atlanta. Okay, he from but Atlanta. like, there's always been those two sides to hip hop where you got the dudes that's really doing that shit, yeah, and then yeah, you got the dudes that's they of in course. the game, but they they got good numbers, so the street right. guys got to fuck with them. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got you got that balance of shit, and then also like. How long do we want black people to really keep just doing this shit for real? And you see where it end up at. So it's like, you got to take the good with the bad. You do. You have to. And what is this one about? New Playboy Cardi picture services? What, what is the... Anything Playboy Cardi do just hot right now. He one of the hottest little... I mean, I ain't going to say little artists. Like, this yeah. nigga, like, he's him right now. Like, okay. When it comes to all the artists I've been coming to, you got him, you got Uzi. Isn't it Iz Izzy Azalea his... Uh... His uh Iggy Azalea, yeah, his oh. baby's mama. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's tough. Oh, uh, he had a baby with Iggy, so like. Was she recording. with somebody before that? That had a baby by. She was with ASAP Rocky before too, and she was with uh That's somebody crazy. on the Lakers. But her Swaggy baby's P. by him though. Yeah, her child. Okay, by, uh, okay, that was him. Okay. Yeah, Cardi. 
But yeah, Cardi okay. got the whole opium thing going crazy right now. He got destroyed lonely. Like his artists, a lot of the his roster looking good right now. So like, okay, he out here doing his thing. But like, he began a lot of uh, controversy because like they be saying that he has like a demonic look. Oh, was that was that the one that people were saying? Was it Coachella or somewhere else? They was like, we're walking out because he had was it Travis Scott or was it Playboy Cardi? It was Cardi. Probably- Oh, and, this yeah. last one. And they were saying that that he was doing some demonic things or something. And yeah, I spoke was... to somebody who was there, and she said she didn't care for it. But remember, I seen the other people. They were like, yo, this is totally demonic. We're out of here. And some people were saying he was just on his metal shit, you know, on some rock type shit. You know I what could mean? feel that, like the whole demonic shit, getting confused with the metal shit. But maybe it's one and the same. But whenever you throw up like this sign, too, like you see the president's throwing up, that is paying homage to me to the devil shit. Like and they, that rock and roller kind of get affiliated with that. At times, they'll be like, yeah, you got to, you know what I'm saying? When I seen the president is doing it, I'm like, yeah. This That's ain't. some other shit. That's some other shit, right? That's yeah, right. Y'all niggas believe in the Illuminati? I mean, <laughs> I, Absolutely. I, I'll tell you this. You have to believe in something that is greater than our government. There has to be somebody else that has the money. That I mean, look at the Rock, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers. That's they own different. the banksters. So if they ain't the Illuminati, then they're called something else. But to believe in, of course, hell yeah, got to be. Got to be. This is like a, like a mousetrap. And we're the mice in here, and somebody else is above. You know what I mean? Choosing, well, we're gonna put them in COVID. We're gonna put them in lockdown. We're gonna mm-hmm. take your money. We're gonna do this. They having their way with us. We're we're owned by the by them. Our birth certificate has us a, a contract with this country. You know what I mean? Anybody know how to join the Illuminati? Of course. I mean, shit. I mean, I think you just gotta go to that website, join the Illuminati. That's it. That's it. But what you gotta might do is drink blood and do some other things and do some things that ain't really drink cool. blood. That's it. I think it's more than that. I've heard a couple people talk about it. They yeah. doing they doing some nasty things over there. We are gonna see how nasty they get. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Real talk. Of course, trying to find out if they taking applications. Right, Shit, right, I want to know work. if they take applications. <laughs> well, well, I'll tell you one thing though. But on the serious side, if like me knowing brothers that are Masons, you know who have you know that I know are Masons. I mean, that's that's one ticket in right there. Depending on how how far you go up exactly. the ladder, you gotta make it a Masonic. certain. Yeah, you know yeah, you mean? gotta make it a certain level up before yeah. you get to see some. Secret shit, and, and then if you get technical, like how we have how we have the, the pope who wears white. There's also a, a red pope, a gray pope, and a black pope. Facts. And the black pope got power, like a motherfucker. The gray pope he got power. He is the and one. The red, he's the one. I saw the guy, like who they're saying is that. So this guy is kind of like how we have Biden or whoever the president is, and they're like there's advisors and other people running shit. <laughs> this guy's the front guy, and the other popes are the ones really running this shit. You know what I mean? Shit Straight up. Straight up. I read a book uh, about the Pope called The Papacy years ago, and it talks about them being boy lovers and love torturing since day one. Damn. So any Catholicism people, not the good people who are Catholics, but the other people, the hierarchy, it would, when you have a, a man of God that says, I don't want a woman, I, I want God, well, really you want a boy. So you're denouncing the woman, and that's just that's factual things, and that's why they've had so many cases. And at that point, that's boys, like you know, evil. Yeah, of course. I mean, you, they need to be slaughtered. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, dirty ass. to this nigga talk all day, man. You feel me? But we going we gonna keep it moving. Come on. <laughs> Honestly, I, I think that was the last. That's topic. all we got. Nice, nice. How do y'all wrap this? You just wrap it. Lead us out. <clears throat> okay. Hey, look, man. It was a it was a great day at the news and no jumper. I appreciate you, Court. Appreciate you, Kaka. Hey, of course, brother. You, you know what I'm saying? Remo. It was good. Remo, my my bad. You that know was what another episode.